thing is all tangled. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. Okay. So, hey, Melissa. It's not that exciting. <laughs> I was making a, a shiny video. Look at how ridiculous this looks. Um, and I was like, I should just go live about it and react instead of constantly having to do voiceovers because it just makes the video a lot longer. You probably can't hear what I'm saying because I'm all tangled up. Okay. Hey, Jessica. Hey, Melissa, my love. Melissa, did I make you a mod yet? You should be a mod. Let me make sure. <clears throat> Hi, Rez. Oh, you can hear me? Oh, good. Okay. Okay. All right, Melissa. So um, I'm doing this because I'm bored. Um, I had a crazy morning and my kids aren't home yet. So I have, <laughs> I have some time and I wanted to get more comfortable with going live more than because I used to go live a lot and I don't anymore, just basically because I don't have time to a lot. And because, um, you know, it's by the time my kids go to sleep, I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> so um, I like going live and I like chatting with everybody. And I don't get to do that all the time. So if you're interested in hanging out with me, great. If you're not, you can watch it on the replay or not watch it at all. <laughs> it's totally up to you guys. But um, we're going to do a Shani video. I did want to speak about the live on um, the stalker um, because when that many people become, you know, are up on panel, it kind of gets confusing and it kind of got off kilter because we were talking about other things and it's just hard to, uh, hey, Melanie, um, it's just hard to kind of get everything uh, out that you want to get out when there's that many uh, different topics going on, if that makes sense. Sorry, my light is pretty weird. Now I'm pink. Um, so I just wanted, ooh, hello. <laughs> uh oh, I hear ringing in my ears. Can everyone hear me okay? So, um, I'm sorry you went through all that. That must have been very scary, though. That lie was very disturbing. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could get that to play properly because I tried watching it back and it was absolutely impossible to hear. And then I forget, Rez, what was the other one? Oh, no, it's okay, Lisa. I just randomly went live because I'm, I am i don't know what else to do with myself at the moment. My house is clean. My work is done. And <laughs> it just didn't really have much going on. So I was like, why not go live? Sounds like a good time. Um, let me see if I can find that. This shiny video is so funny because this is when they had money, which I love. Um, yeah, I definitely did. Um, I definitely did have more to go over, but it was, it's hard to explain it all to people who weren't there because it went on for so long that, uh, it's hard to explain what everybody is understanding what happened or hearing everything or whatever i will play that i'll see if that i don't know why that didn't work the other day i'll see if it works this time um not that i really want to keep going over it it's done it is what it is and i i don't really care what this woman does with her life to be honest with you um as long as she leaves me alone but um we're gonna do some shiny stuff and then as people come in if anyone has hey soren uh, if anybody has any questions about any of that, um, she, she 100% lied. Now she's saying she lied about being unemployed. So I guess she lied to the courts to get out of paying. Interesting. Interesting developments have happened, but 
it is what it is. She's never going to learn and she's going to continue being who she is. And that's fine as long as it's very far away from me or anybody I care about. Holy legal. Yeah, it, there's, oh God, I'm so glad. I'm so glad it's over. And I'm so glad her karma is coming to her because I can't imagine a more deserving person. Yeah, it was weird, but let's get some laughs. So, Chenny, yeah, this is, it's just, I'm over it. I'm over it. That woman can do and say whatever she's going to do and say. It doesn't matter to me. I'm not the unemployed one on probation. I'm none of those things, and I never will be. <clears throat> Let me find the shiny video. Oh, it's in my... What's up, my people? I'm going to speed Shane her up. Here. Uh, you. God, even that's not fast enough. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just Neither do we. No, don't ignore me. Watch me. Listen to me. I need attention, people, because I'm going to show you what I got on Amazon, because, you know, it's a good way to, um, you know, snag some fishies. You know what I mean? Thank you, Marissa. Yep. Being a uh, picture of man here. I love you, too. I got me some men to fish. So when I'm fishing for men, I know what's good bait. And I use said bait to fish said men. And if people took that in a really bad, I know, different Riz. way. It's bad. You need Jesus. I'm just saying. You need a little Jesus. <laughs> we all need a little Jesus. Jesus is good, Jesus is love, Jesus is righteousness, Jesus is freedom, justifiable. Anyway. This video is bizarre. <sighs> bizarre. So, I got nine packages from Amazon that came to my doorstep today. Oh, by the way, a little close up. Me hey, too, baby, Melissa. Show people your new look. <laughs> show them how sexy you are. Wait, get the, you can face the camera a little bit better than that. <laughs> Look at Rev. Look at Rev. <laughs> Don't you look so much better? It's like a new man. Yes. Yeah. 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 Right. No. 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 Oh my God, that is a horrible angle. All your angle angles are pretty yes. rough. Angle. That angle is just like. You see how chapped my lips are right now, and my nose is chapped, and my face is just uh Gross. What I need to do is just go into my tent. Only people who read the Bible knows what that means. And if you haven't read the Bible and you don't know what that means, maybe you should read the Bible so you know what that means about me going into you. said tent. Wait, is this not what we had before? Yes. That one's gone. Everyone say hi. Oh, did I see the other one? No, I didn't. So I'm going to wait until uh, my people get here. I'm going to be smoking on some caviar joint. And it is. Yes, I believe so, Shelbo. Some Afghani. In the it's rough, though. 60% THC, 0.2% milligrams of CBD. It is a one gram cone with bubble hash and dissolute. Nobody cares. I've had one of these also today after I got that comb. In this case, it's Your so nerves are throbbing. <laughs> Is, yes, it's old. Where's the keys? Very old. It's five years old. She was 35. I'm going to be waiting on my people because I know they're going to come. It's only nine. It's not that late. Mm. Mm. It may be late for some people, though. I wonder how G-Man's doing. Anyone wondering how G-Man's doing? Just curious. I bet you are. 
We all know she really wanted G Man, but I should ask G Man, what's he doing? How's he doing? What's up? Why are you so concerned while you have your clothes sitting next to you? I'm just saying. It's Beckle's birthday. Well, at the very end. I hope Beckle had a great birthday. He usually does have a great time. He's got such a good family. Oh my God. It says press, (laughs) and I keep pressing it and it won't break it up. Oh my God. This isn't child proof. This is human proof. It's obviously adult proof or <laughs> moron proof. Like it's moron proof. Like bubble hash. My bubble hash joint cost me twenty dollars. I could fall asleep for the night at noon. Big ass. Like no, I don't want to open. Hey, snacks, guys. <gasps> Ow. And this is probably a lot harder since I have nails on. Let me just say, I'm getting red in the face. This is that hard getting this stuff open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. I mean, try to open this. Use your manpower. Please. You're bigger than Use your manpower, man. <laughs> what I'm a hero. <laughs> he can't even do it. What is wrong with this thing? Why does it open? I, I can't. I, I, gotta, I gotta get past this because this is just. And you try it on all different sizes to squeeze in. You're an idiot. You're a complete idiot. Oh yeah. Okay, so this was her. What so what she gets from Amazon. That comes to, ah. <gasps> yes, queen! It's another skater dress. It's another Halloween skater dress. Oh man, I had this on order for like about a month now, waiting for it to come. Queen. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Okay, honey, look at this. Mm-hmm. It's purple and it's got lace on top and little baddies on it. And then, <laughs> oh. This is such a cute dress. Look at baby. Oh my god. Oh, I think it's so cute. A 35 so cute. year old woman lace. wants it's to so wear this. Soft. It's not like itchy lace, but a nice soft lace. Feel that. Isn't that nice? Yeah. <laughs> I bought it with and your money. Cool. Isn't it nice? It lion's till. Like it more, Rev. You paid for it. Like cat and Jack Lamper. It's so cute. I love it. I love it. This is going to be so cute on me. Oh yeah, I should do an outfit of the of the day with this for my vloggerine. Well, I have plans for vloggerine. I plan to do vloggerine this year. Never happened, by the way. Anyway, hey lemonade, I'm so glad you're here. I'm gonna open this up. Oh, I love, I, I'm I'm oh, happy oh, you're oh, here too, Izzy. I just hit the wrong one. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, no, I just I it's definitely. I literally just sure. arrived just to go live, like just to whoever's around can hang out. Whoever wants to watch it later can watch it later. This video and editing it and everything and adding my voice and it just makes it longer and annoying. So I'd rather just react to it live if that makes sense. But it's it. This is the this is the tame part. You guys. If you guys want to cringe, this video, I can't believe it. I don't know. Has anyone else covered this video? No. We'll see. Let's find out. But that's, she's showing you all, everything she got from Amazon with Rev's money. What it is. Oh, that feels nice. Oh my God. It, these are pants. I'm not kidding. Okay. They're just regular yoga pants. But look at the bottom of these yoga pants. They're colossos oh. with lace on the bottom. Look at that, baby. That is so your style. Right? Why? Okay, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Love it. So, Why would someone this size, and I'm not even trying to, to fat shame her, even though I will because it's her and I wouldn't do it to anyone else, but what makes you think that you are going to look good in palazzo yoga pants? With lace bell bottoms. <laughs> I would pay money to see those on her because I can only imagine how unflattering that is. That's the problem. People, not all people, not all women, but they don't know how to dress for their body type. Like we all have different body types. We should dress for that. Hey, Johnny Fappelseed. <laughs> hey, Savage Dabs. If I missed you, I'm sorry. Hey, Debbie. Yeah, this is new. This is new. I just decided to go live. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> all right. So the next thing 
Exactly, Z. Am I? Exactly, Melissa. Open. Is that open? Open. Aha. Uh -huh. I got it. It's hard to open things with lawn, like lawn. Lawn, lawn nails. It's hard. It's really hard. Lovely. Lawn. All right. Ooh, it's stuck on tape. It's stuck on tape. It's stuck on tape. And I opened it up. What is this? Oh, yes, queen. It is another black pair of palazzos. I don't know. I got on like this thing where I'm like, I want to wear palazzos because I love wearing them. So now I'm on a palazzo kick. So just get used to me wearing palazzos. This is going to be so freaking cute on me. Who oh, says that? They go all the way up the waist, by the way. Thank God. It's going to be so cute. All right. Crazy. Next thing. Hey, Ola Fola. <laughs> Thank you, Savage Dabs. Let's do. Oh, by the way, just a little update. My son got his toy, so no longer will he be crying. Right, so. <laughs> huh? Ooh. Is. It's called Untoned Blonde. Ooh. They're tremendous. Her, I mean, <laughs> that's... it is another pair of black palazzos. It's the same pair. Oh, we need black palazzos. We need uh, more than one pair. Did I accidentally like press times two? And didn't is that the waist? I think I may have. I is that the waist? Black <laughs> but that's okay. The more, the merrier, I guess. <laughs> All right. I don't oh. think so, Lou Morte. I do not think she could do any of this. It's polka dot. Oh. Black polka dot. Oh my gosh, oh, I don't even really know what this is. Is it a dress? I hope it's a dress. It's I a hope it's a dress. dress. I am going to dodge. <laughs> no, it's not. Damn it. Damn Instead, it. it is polka dot palazzos. I told you. I went on like this. Was that... It's a polka dot really bed sheet. <laughs> God forgive me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help myself. I like you, pants with flair. It brings me back to the 70s, which I never was born in, but it's still. Now I have this like little tiny package. I have no idea what is in this. But oh, Lord. what is in this? It says craft materials, decorative Sailboats? materials. Oh my God. I don't... Steps. Okay. Well, we're just going to open this little baby up. <laughs> I don't know what it means by decorative materials. <laughs> what does it mean? Okay. Ow. Have tape. This is finger. the boring part of this. I don't even and know. I'm making my other finger. This. You're enjoying it. Let me know. Really? Uh, I'll finger. move on to the good parts. Win. All right. So it looks like a little baggie with seeds. What kind of seeds are these? Who gets seeds? What these are now marijuana seeds, but wait, I don't know what kind of seeds these are. You ordered them. <laughs> what kind of seeds are these? Are these like oh, because boy. I know I ordered seeds that were um Venus flytraps. So are these the Venus flytraps? You ordered seeds that were Venus flytraps. I am fly traps. very confused on what this is, but it definitely is seeds. Maybe. Of what origin? I have no idea. Well, I, I mean, I guess we'll find out what they become. The, my mysterious seeds that I got. There's a video. My mysterious so... seeds. What are they? <laughs> what? All right. Next time. There's Rev F dead back there. That's exactly what it's I said. Again. Oh my gosh. How much black do I get? Thing. Oh. You'll put me on a black binge. Watch along. I'll be right back. Ooh. Oh, my. Okay, these are another of uh, palazzos, except they are lace, but yet the lace is on the side of the leg this time. <laughs> I am, like, palazzo queen at the moment. I think I got too many palazzos. Gosh, never get high and go on Amazon with a budget. You can find so many things. At Amazon, on a budget. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, ooh, <gasps> yes, queen. Okay, so, so I, I know what this is. I'm so excited. Okay, people are gonna think I'm dork. I don't care if you think I'm a dork for this. 
But, you know, this just makes me the girliest of all girls. And I'm trying to figure out how this is. Oh, there it is. We're figuring out how you open the daggy. This. Is it's a, obviously butterfly with ruleans. So it oh, this like is great. This is you great. Put it on your around your neck, Silas Galeda, like this, and put it in the back of you. Check this guess, shit out, like that, and a freaking butterfly. <laughs> there, I'm a freaking butterfly now. So <laughs> I guess I'm like fully fulfilling. My uh, MK Ultra training right now with you know the Monarch training. Oh, I could put it here and it'd just be like, <sighs> I just like. What does that share is going to do with this? I don't know why I got this other than it was like two dollars and I was like, <gasps> I want to get some money, and, you know, so I'll just spend it. Now I'm a butterfly, a butterfly with wings on my head. Idiot, because you know. It's what I do. It's like weird and random things. Yet has anyone ever Amazon seen that on her them. again? No. Just more For wasted really money. Stop sounds. Just so I can make a video. That's the biggest thing. So you guys can laugh at me and hear me like this. Is that healthy? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, and feel free in the comments Stop. below to be like, Stop. girl, you are a crazy bitch. Go eat a hamburger. You will. Be free to put that in the comments. Oh, dang. Because I get that every day. And I understand that you men are intimidated by women who have a fuller figure. Intimidating. But rest assured, we are very kind people and we won't eat your face off unless we get really hungry. And then it is required for you to sacrifice yourself so we can eat your fa face off. That's just fat girl etiquette. The you should know is... that. Oh, just man. saying. Yeah. Where did I put my keys? I need to cut them. Glad I make I'm you laugh, laugh, Lemonade. <laughs> I melt myself because that is bad to do. I can't help it. That's a pumpkin. Where are you? I don't have any scissors. I don't know how to open this. Intimidating. My nails make my whole, like, tape opening skills. Not. <laughs> You're leaning on my wing, dude. You. <laughs> You're leaning on my wing. He revs half alive. Uh, I'll use some keys. This is this is how cool people do it, man. I don't know what the heck's in this box. It's definitely mm. from China. No shit. It says pen. In Chinese rated in, in pen again. So I have no clue what this is. Guess we're gonna find out together. Okay. And serious, Melissa. There we go. See if I can open it from here. Ah, I'm gonna use my my keys because my nails Sorry. can't do anything, and I don't want them tearing off because I'm not part of that type of life of having torn nails. Why is making? Why is it so hard? Rice and beans. She doesn't use nails. this pad. She just lets it fly. Well, we will continue on with the struggle of opening the box with lawn nails. How does it feel now to Open. know that you don't have two cents I to want to know what you are. All good things come to those who wait. Okay, well, oh what is God, this? Hurry up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know what these are. These are so cute. Two dollars. Look at these things. Look at their, their gel pens. But look at the tops. They're kitties. I can, I, let me get a handful of these. A th she was 35 at this time. Oh my god. 35 year old these woman. Are just, <gasps> these are kitty cat faces. They're just so cute. Look at that. Oh and that god. is where They're 700. So They're so cute. That is where 750,000. Okay, so really ultra thin pen it looks like. Bullshit like that. Ooh, look how thin. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Look how thin. The writing Ooh. Wow. Again. You get ultra fine lines with that. Is that blue? Do you have a yeah, job? Do you and need a pen for anything? Do you have any paperwork to fill out? Black. So I guess they're all the same pen. Yeah, they're all black. But I'm planning on putting these on my desk in a unicorn cup. 
Oh, goody. Yeah. I said it. Wow, I was really it's excited. It's unicorn color. These kids are going into. Yes, La Morte. It'll be glorious. I finally have pens. Hold on. Let me clear this up for La Morte. I don't have any pens in this house. I'm so glad you have pens. Um... So yes, La Morte, Rev got an inheritance when his mom passed away of seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars and a house, a free house which he sold, and uh, now they uh, have nothing. They have no home. They have nothing. They lost their children. I have a lot to catch you up on, my my friend. A lot. It's awful. Oh, these are so adorable. Look at how cute they are. They're pens, the Shannon. Pens are so cute. They're pens. <laughs> it's so cute. <gasps> Two sorry. houses. I got caught up in kittiness. I'm sorry. My spirit animal is house cat. So, of course, I would fall in love with a bunch of kitty kittens. Your spirit animal's whale. It's, nature. it's only my nature. And yes, I did say my spirit animal is house cat. And it is a whale. And I'm I, telling I, I, you. I stand by that. And I stand by the Because I'm ultimately a house cat, if you think about it. You're ultimately a whale. The end. You want to throw these in the garbage, my love? Thank you. That's right, Lisa Oof. Hobbs. Oof. Well. So. Philosophical. <laughs> See, you Utilitarianism. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what the hell that is. Well, we're going we're gonna to look. Oh, by the way, all the Christians out there, I have a prayer request. For my friend Betty Crocker, um, she's having some complications with her pregnancy, and I want a prayer chain out for her. So set out prayer chains for her. Give her as much prayers as we possibly can for her. We want her and her baby to be okay. You know, I'm sure. I'm sure you're real concerned. Her, she's been a very beautiful person to me in my life. Um, Where so is she now? Pray for, pray for Betty Crocker and um, make sure she's okay. So put out prayer chains. Do it for Jesus. Thank you. And praise be to Jesus to you. So we're going to look up this philosophical. I never heard of it before because I'll be honest. I find philosophy redundant and vain and egotistical in a way. I'm just saying. <laughs> and I know there's going to be people who, you know, completely um, disagree with me, but um, that's just how I feel. It's just my opinion. You don't have to, you know, tell me you hate me or anything. No one. Okay, so no one believes anything. Utilitarianism is a the idea that the moral worth of an action True. is solely determined by its contribution to overall utility and maximizing happiness or pleasure as some among all people. It is then the total utility of individuals, which is important here. The greatest happiness for the greatest number of people. Yeah, sure. Why not put? Why not create happiness? I guess. I don't know what quite it means because I'm a little high. No, uh, you're a little, a little stupid, is what you are. Quite a bit high. A little bit stupid. Uh, <laughs> I, I had some indica edibles and I had a, I had one of those caviar joints. Oh my god! And Wait, some Princess Leia this morning. Wow, that's a lot of weed with two kids in the house, isn't it? So yeah, I'm just gonna get higher. So I guess I answered your question to the best of my ability. Whatever. But then again. I'm not, you know, into philosophy. But then goes on to say that her and Rev are philosophers. I'm into the human mind, into emotions better. and feelings and God and Jesus and stuff like that. And, and like fashion. Yeah. Obviously. You, clearly. I have freaking wings on my head. Clearly. And fashion. I, I'm, I'm fashionable. Yes. And they're purple, which means I'm fabulous. I'm fabulous winged shanty. That was the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I finally got my wings. I finally got my wings. I'm gonna put my hair down because it's like really like all over humid. Because it hasn't been washed in two weeks. And I should be my tent anyway, because you know oh <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh yeah, that is a great look. Yes. Actually. Actually. Let's get that going. There we go. Ew. Yes, Queen. Oh. Oh. Words are hard, Chuck. I really have Hello. very hard. I have a great life with that. I IQ of president. <laughs> I have a fabulous life. <laughs> My life is so fabulous. Yeah, it is. Now. I have wings. Ow, ow, ow. It's not like, it's not like, uh, uh, uh. well, I lost my wings. Yeah, so that was just money you spent. No reason. 
It will just sit there and collect dust and cat. So what do you like the it. most of what I got from Amazon? My eyes? I didn't get them from Amazon. No, I got them from my grandpa. Oh, God. Get over yourself. What? Yeah, I'm sure. Definitely not from Amazon. I'm not a robot. <laughs> Rice and beans? I've, I, ha- I, too, have seen them both. <laughs> Naked. And uh, it's a bad... It's, oh, I, I wish I was a robot. Okay. I'll never be the same. Hi, people. <laughs> so, uh... I love you guys. Let's just hang and she, chill. She doesn't look like she's in a lot of pain, does she, folks? While I settle down right now. Because it's awesome to settle down. Not many, Jessica. There is absolutely nothing on YouTube. No, baby. Oh. Nothing on YouTube. What if I put on Star Trek? You want to put up? You want to see Star Trek? Mm-hmm. Totally, man. Mm-hmm. Sweet yeah. Netflix, it is. Look on. Thank you. There's this part she talks about working, and it's so good. I want to see Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe again. That is a great movie. It's a better book, by the way. That would be a fun book to read on my channel. This Hitchhiker, Hitchhiker's Guide. Oh, yeah, I'm sure tons of people would tune into that. You reading. Right. So, episode... You can't even speak English. Or season 2, episode 17. <laughs> oh. Come on. Oh, that's your Kenny. soda. Go Kenny. drink some more of it. Yes. Drink more, you need to. Yes, you should eat your veggies. Oh, wait, I gotta give you your pill. We need ha- shiny Halloween costumes. That would be so great. I need a fashion. Yeah. Suit. I would totally be shiny for Halloween. Your night pen. Then you'll go my dog. Oh, yes, Queen. Christ- like I said before, ladies. Christian to your joy. Get Just get uh, it. It is so nice to smell. I'm just saying. It's nice like vanilla to cupcake. shower. It's nice to bathe daily. And taste like a vanilla cupcake. And look like a vanilla cupcake. <gasps> there, ooh, there's a look. Vanilla cupcake makeup tutorial. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, clean. Shut oh. the fuck up. You, sound you know, in order to have idiot. a proper vanilla cupcake, I'm going to have to get more Jeffree Star products. Because oh, I think only he can make you look like a vanilla cupcake. I mean, Anastasia's good, but I mean, something about... Jeffree Star products tells me like vanilla cupcake would be okay. Shani knows nothing about cupcake. makeup. She likes to pretend like she knows like pigment and all of that stuff. I am definitely not like a huge makeup person, but I do know a little bit. She is a completely she's off. She has no idea. She's the same person who took a Jeffree Star palette, which are not cheap, stuck her finger in it and put it on her eye. Like you, you want to talk about fashion and makeup like you know a damn thing about it i can't stand i cannot girl look at you take a good look in the mirror scary that'd be amazing i want to look like a vanilla cupcake so i've been watching the whole trisha paytas jason thing and i said something really bad to jason today trust me he has no idea I feel you like are he's using her for the views and i don't really appreciate like he says he loves her right but it's like, if he loved her, he would want to live with her, right? He wouldn't buy a $2 million mansion um, with a guy instead of, like, a $2 million mansion with his girl. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather buy my mansion with my significant other than with some random dude, you know? First I don't know. That's all, how I feel about Jason Ash. First, first, like, all, first of all, first of all, first of all. I don't know if you guys know about Jason Nash and uh, Trisha Paytas or what she's talking about, but Jason got into a group of guys that were live sh- doing. A- he was with David Dobrik. He they got he got a house with those people. He uh, he didn't want to live with her because she was out of her mind at the time. She's very happy now. She's married. She's got her baby. She's good. But at this time, he didn't want to live with her. On top of that, he has two children with his ex-wife, who 
she did not want her children around Trisha. So them living together would ne then mean that his own children couldn't come to his house. So I, I, I'm not a huge Jason Nash fan by any means, but that's why she didn't, they didn't get a place together because it wouldn't make any sense. You can't just give your opinion on shit like that when you don't even, oh, ooh, it's like a rainbow. When you don't even know what the hell you're talking about, Chani. Nobody cares what you would do. We all know what you would do. Just spend video, everyone's like, money. The last video he made with Trisha. Like, the body is off. I don't know. Maybe he's just getting tired of the relationship. Maybe. It reminds me of very similar body, like, like how his body language was. It was very similar right before Sean broke up with Trisha. So, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Then why are you talking but, about it? It's sad, but you know what? I'm gonna be meeting Trisha soon. Maybe I'm just you know. Oh, this is good. Things, this is good. Into she's but, she's going to a Trisha. I've been doing that for so long and reading people's like body language and stuff. Yeah, I you mean, know, that maybe I can be wrong about it. You know, I hope I am. I want to be. Where are you, Eileen? Oh, this is such a good episode. This is when um Picard and uh. Oh gosh! Sorry, Picard and Will Wheaton, or I sorry, Wesley. If you don't know who Will Wheaton is, he's Wesley. I named my son after Will Wheaton. Okay, nobody cares. If I would have called him Jason. Okay, cool. Too emotional, but that's just my thing. That's just who I am. And you just might as well just get used to it because I'm used to it by now. I have to deal with it every day. You just have to deal with it every time I make a video, and you choose to play, press play on said video. Think about that. What? Yes. Huh? Yeah. God, you are so high. With two little kids in the house. Not that there's anything wrong with smoking. Oh, yeah, with the children. Guys know how to run the ship, but they don't know how to fix the ship because they're stupid. No. It is awesome. What? Thank you, Melissa. Uh, hey, baby. Ew. Ew. Cringe alert. Oof. It's gross. <laughs> it's so gross. What is the nature of your mission? You know what I hate? Is the dry skin you get. Ew. Why? You, like, Why? 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 What is your stance on universal basic income? Okay. Oh, Jesus. Someone I don't her, know what that is, but I'll look it up. Oh, of course you don't know what it is. Shut Thank up. you for teaching me. I thought you knew everything, Shani. Universal basic income. This is when it starts okay. to get good. A basic income, Listen. also Listen. called basic income guarantee, universal basic income, basic living stipend, and universal demograt is a type of program in which citizens of a country may receive a regular sum of money from a source such as the government. <coughs> Isn't that communism? I don't know if I'm for communism, and I don't know if I'm for that. Why should someone give you your form of income? Why can't you earn your income? Oh! I don't know. I'm sure... Well, the natives kind of use a form of that, I guess. With their, um... With what they get from the, uh, the casinos. Like, you know who Greg is, right? Big schlon Greg, yeah. Does everyone he was getting twenty five hundred. Does everyone a month. know who Greg is? So okay, there's a video um, where Shani tells Rev who Greg is. Greg is a was a um, a guy she hooked up with who was Native American, and she said his uh, his baby carrot was the size of a Pringle can. She flat out told Rev that, like it was like she just said, I just. Like, very casual things she just happened to tell the men she's with. So that's who she's talking about. That's who Greg is. Listen to what she says. So gross. From the uh, casinos. Just for being a native. Sounds sweet, right? I don't know. It depends. It depends. Is it like a constant income that, like, is constantly growing or something? I don't know. I don't know. I still have this like thing in my head where you should earn your income. Uh, do you hear that? The idea is if you have some basic income, you can do what you want. Right? 
right? True. I mean, me, I'm basically doing that. Just enough to get by. Thank you for coming yeah, in. Yeah, but a little bit more just to get by, like, you would want some to, like, we love help you. your living situation. I mean, I don't like getting just enough money just to get by. <laughs> Because just enough to get by is a sucky and time. And you to would live. know. Huh. We look for things. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> They're so stupid. Ooh, yes, please. Ew. Mm. I like my hair right now. I don't know why I like my hair right now, but I like my hair when it's wild. It's just, it's, it's dirty. If you want more, then you need to work and be productive. Yeah. I agree. Except when it's you. <clears throat> and I am working. Really? Just not man's work. What does that mean? My work, I do. It's from another world. But if you didn't know it, technically, right now, I am working. Is that what this is? I'm working right now. Can I call this a That's job? That's what I do. Can someone please pay me for this? What I've always done. <laughs> I'm always working. You have never worked, Ooh. ever. Mm. Hello, handsome. Ew. God, you look so good with that haircut and your beard all like snazzy. You are so dapper. <laughs> Nothing compared to me. <laughs> uh -huh. Ew. Exactly. If Gina got UBI, he could preach all day. No need to go to work. Lisa Lynn, you are gorgeous. True. Even Shani agrees. But, um, I wouldn't worry about G-Man and working. G-Man is the type of man to stay busy. So, I don't think he minds working. She's obsessed with G-Man. She could be with G-Man, she what would. What I think he doesn't like is struggling. Like I said, the just getting by thing. Oh, that's a horrible way to live. Mm. Hmm, funny done that my whole life. It's draining. But whose fault so now, is that? But hold on. <coughs> whose fault is that? I, You've been struggling your whole life. You, you could have gotten to college. You could have gotten a degree. You could have gotten a career. You could have done all of those things. Instead, you laid on your back, got knocked up, expected whatever man you were with this week to take care of you and your children and have never worked a solid, honest day of work in your life, except for that small period of time that you were working for that uh, that um, traumatic brain injury place where you got fired for live streaming while you were at work, which is a huge HIPAA violation. God forbid any of those people were caught on camera. You are a joke. Struggling sucks. Yeah, but we've all done it. We've all had to at one point or another. You're now 40, living in your boyfriend's uncle's house. Every single day, one of you, you usually rev, is begging for 20 bucks. And you're going to sit here on your high horse because back here now at this time she had money. She was sitting high and high and mighty. And now karma comes in many ways. In many ways. I've decided to become a philanthropist. Oh, here we go. Because I can. She's a philanthropist. She yeah. yeah. Guess mm -hmm. what? I'm a philanthropist. Yep. I think we can classify ourselves as philanthropists. How? How do you classify yes. yourself We're as philanthropists? And I'm a fucking veterinarian. <laughs> Did you guys know that? I'm a, a licensed veterinarian. <laughs> Nobody would have to struggle with UBI. Nobody awesome. would be homeless or need to go on the street or steal millions of peaches. Peaches for me. Look out. Later dudes out. Okay, the Shani and Red Fund. Right. Right. Ew. It's great being a philanthropist. 
She can't even very spell rewarding. philanthropist. She cannot even spell the word. <laughs> Life is a beautiful thing. Mm. Even when you're struggling, it's beautiful. Oh, yeah? Look at how cool she thinks she is. Oh, wow, smoke. Sorry, that was really cool looking. <laughs> I figured to do it. Hey, Joda. No, Krista can't. Krista Claus, she does not. She can't. That was really cool looking. So. How embarrassing. So, me and Rev are deciding if we want to go to a Christmas story musical. Now, granted, I'm not a big fan of musicals, but it's like a Christmas story. It'd be, it would be a cute thing to experience. Must have been nice when they had money like that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Miss Lori. Ooh. Gosh, I can't even look at you without just being... I am not deserving of you. I am not worthy. Gosh. Oh. Look at this. He is so sexy. Oh my God. Mm. I love that man. Ooh. I love my man. And his bank account. So glad I can say it. There was a period of time where I was like, don't talk about me on your channel. Yeah, because it was you embarrassing. Think the Flat Earth was a psyops to discredit conspiracy theorists and truthers. I find it a plausible uh, possibility, yeah. I do. It's plausible. It's very plausible. Oh, well, hello. Ew, what is going on? What is, please tell me what's happening. Look at you. Yes, Kane. Mm. Ew. Yeah, oh gosh. Ew, what's happening? What's happening? We used to do this all the time and stare at each other through the screen. Mm. You were so hot. You still are. Your bank account really mm. turns me on. Mm. Ew. Isn't He's this so interesting? Gross. We're flirting with each other while looking at the same screen. But I'm looking at straight at you, and I know you're looking straight at me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You were so hot. Mm. Imagine saying a rip is mm. so hot. Mm. Get you off camera. Oh. Mm. Oh. Jessica, I was thinking the same thing. Christy, I was thinking the same thing. Who is that? Thanks for answering I mean, my questions. I'm out of questions boyfriend. now. Oh, no, you're not, Aries. You're never out of questions. Right? Hello? God, you were so hot. Ew. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna vomit. This I'm is gonna my vomit life. all over my laptop. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're like totally like in flirtatious mode with each other at the moment. <laughs> oh, we're Hi. Lisa Lynn. Guess who just texted me? Hmm. Res, if Res is <laughs> in here, she'll know too. <laughs> <laughs> no one don't even tell me you could find her vagina of her her hula from Ooh. the back of her this way. Like why are you doing this on camera? We gotta control ourselves. <laughs> you would be so bad. <laughs> This is embarrassing, Shani. You are embarrassing yourself. I don't know what has gotten into the us lately. Drugs. What has gotten into us lately? Drugs. I don't know. <laughs> we just love it on each other lately. <laughs> mm. Is he waving a 20 at her? <laughs> Ooh, I know what to do. It's like, come here, baby. Watch this high school trick. Yeah. 
what is that really? called again? I forgot the name of it. I'm not a weed smoker, so I, I forgot all the Ooh. lingo. That and I'm not 19. I think you should paint Rev. What do you mean, paint Rev? I think that like, person meant to say him? you should paint Rev. Body paint him or paint him on Lake Canvas? No, peg him. Is that bad? How you doing, girl? Peg him, she meant. Peg. Um, the two of us, we're just having a just way too good of a time together at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to nibble on your lip. <laughs> Drugs, DoorDash, and delusion. Exactly. I cannot imagine that blob being my mother. <laughs> Sorry. I would be terrified that my I friends would find can't. them online. Oh, she says, oh, you'll see what she says about that. I saw your video. You're going to meet Queen Trisha Paytas. I know. I'm going to eat with Trisha. I'm going to be on a mook thing. No, you're not. You're going to a meet and greet. Like how you paint a model on canvas? Oh, I should. Can I paint? I'm not a good artist when it comes to making people, though. But if I could make you, maybe I could paint. Maybe I could paint how I see your soul? I know. I'm not a good painter. I can make one for shiny. No, I'm black. not. I'm more scientific. That's why I like good at crochet and stuff. Because crocheting is scientific. You know, I'm good at crochet and building stuff. I'm good at building. Building, building is also but science. I don't know about actual painting. That's going to be so fun. Hopefully Shane will be there too. I'm... I'm hoping Shane will be there. Shane Dawson. And I mean, I find it a good possibility that Shane would be there because Ryland's family is from here. Oh, yeah. I'm sure Shane goes to and all Trisha's family's from here. Oh, my God. She's so dumb. My soul would be really long and thick. I can get you long and thick, baby. No, you can't. Oh, yeah. No, you can't, baby carrot. Baby carrot. <laughs> but no. I'm thinking maybe it could be a possibility that Jeffree Star could be even there because that's like around the time where Trisha will be released in her album. So maybe like Jeffree will be there just to, you know. To I mean, sure what? No one has nothing to do with the other. Stunad. That would be so cool if it was like a special one since she's in her home. That would be so cool. So I saw the video of her meeting Trisha. Trisha I don't know. I'm looking forward to Trisha Paytas. And it's literally Trisha. Okay, it's literally Trisha at like a like a, a step and repeat. You walk up to her, whoever you're, like you get in with her, take a picture. She hugs you, and you, whoever you're with takes a picture. And the next person goes like, you don't get to hang out with her or you know do mukbangs with her. Like she's not trying to be your friend. She's getting paid to do a meet and greet to meet idiots like you on the internet. Who think that she's cool, which if you do cool, that's great. But uh, she really thinks that Shane Dawson's gonna be there, Jeffree Star is gonna be there, everyone on YouTube she loves is gonna be at this one meet and greet that she got herself into, which lasted a total of maybe 13 seconds where she was smooth with Trisha. I gotta find that video for you guys. To it. Are you looking forward to meeting Trisha? Yeah. Yeah. That is so cool. I mean, what? Whoa. Like three years. But I've known about her Whoa. since the beginning of YouTube. You know, through Shane, of course. Through Shane. Uh oh, bad things are happening. Swallow that mucus <laughs> you just sucked up. Don't get a tissue or anything. But I'm so... Oh. Hannah. So... Rev is probably not going to want the tote bag you get with the deal. So I'm wondering. <laughs> exactly. Since I know you love Trisha so much, and I'm definitely going to have her sign all that stuff. If I would send you what Rev would get, and I'd no! send it to you, and you would have like a little piece of Trisha too, and it'd be like our thing. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't that be amazing to have like a tote bag that Trisha signed that I sent to you? That would be so cool. But you wouldn't do anything like that for anyone because you're a selfish person. Selfish human being. And I'm gonna get it. Uh, I'm. I am so taping it. I so am taping it. I have to. I have pictures and recordings and everything of me and Trisha together. I'm planning on getting my hair done, you know, professionally. Oh my before god! It. And I gotta get. I gotta get a bombing outfit. I, I, I she won't be paying like that much attention to you. I'm gonna honor my queen perfectly. Like. <laughs> 
three hundred people that will be there to meet her. I'm gonna have to look up who this Trisha is. <laughs> Go ahead, Aries. You'll enjoy her. <laughs> Aries would Aries would love Trisha. Oh my god. Trisha is my soul sister. No, she's not. <laughs> She she's almost got 4.5 million subscribers too, which is so cool. Mm -hmm. Like, what happens if like me and Trisha like really click and we like become like really good freaking friends, and I end up like going on like Trisha's channel? That would be the most amazing thing ever. You live in a fantasy world, my dear. <gasps> oh my gosh! But I would love to meet Shane Dawson. Oh my god, I would hug him, and I would tell him how much I love him. Exactly, and, um, Christy Claw. I would tell him I want to adopt him. Same with Jeffree Star. All the all of them. Just let me adopt all of them. I'll adopt Trisha too, even though I like her mom. Um, <gasps> oh my god, I get to meet Trisha's mom. Slow down. You're gonna adopt all these people because you can't even you your children have been adopted by someone else. So who are you adopting, Shannon? Just wondering. <laughs> Stupid statement. Bet you didn't think that was gonna happen. I get to meet Lena. I love Lena Paytas. Oh my god, I get to meet <gasps> I get to meet Trisha's mom, too! No, no, oh, no, she's not... I'm dying. I'm... Baby, you are the greatest husband I ever had. At... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm gonna be, like, hugging everyone. I'm gonna be hugging everyone. I'm just gonna be hugging everyone. I'm gonna be... <gasps> Ooh, I should... <gasps> I should get on it. Right now, I want to crochet everyone a blanket. I wanted to crochet Trisha in a, a pink fluffy blanket with a nice cross on it because I know how much she loves Jesus. Oh. I love you, Jesus. Oh, God. Help, us. Help us all. You give me hope. Jesus never lets me go. I love it. I love it. <sighs> oh. I know, Lisa. I have never had such an amazing time in my entire life. I have never been so happy in my life than this time. <laughs> I love you. Love you, love you, love you. I love your money. I love your money. I love your money. Ugh. Ugh. No. I'll tell you. If Drew Monson's there, I might shite myself. Why would Drew Monson be there? Like, what is everyone on because YouTube? You never know like? who's going to show up with Trisha. You yes, you do. Don't know which YouTube celebrity is going to show up with Trisha. You're an idiot. And I'm going to meet no, these people. Not. You barely. And that's the like, most coolest thing ever. Because <laughs> I'm best friends with G Man, and look at him. He's pretty successful. You're He's known by a lot of people. Millions. Best. Friends. A million people. Best. G Man's known. Best friend. Me, I'm known by a million people too. I got my own IMDb. So does G-Man. Wow. Shani's famous, guys. I'm a hidden. I'm living the YouTube dream. This is amazing. My life is becoming amazing. And all of you get to see it. And all of it is because of God. Buckle up, buttercup. Because you saw all my prayers. And you see every single one of my prayers go, boop, boop, boop. Garrett, oh my God. I would be like, Garrett, marry my brother. He's gay too. He's tall. He's dorky. Me and my Garrett and my brother we get along. They both love Harry Potter. Oh, oh my god, I got a hook. And Michael is my brother. He's a fan of freaking Shane Dawson too. Oh my god. What would you do if PewDiePie was there? These people. Have I'd shake his hand and say thank you for making me laugh when I was in such a deep depression. Oh god. Like PewDiePie. Thank I'm gonna be honest, PewDiePie saved my life. I knew it. I knew it. Like there were so many times, like last year, I was so down on myself and so wanting to die. And I purposely put on PewDiePie because he always made me laugh. He always does. So I would thank him for help saving me and keeping me going by making me laugh. I love PewDiePie. I love Pewds. And Marcia, oh, his fiance, she is so wonderful, and she's Italian, and I'm Italian too, and I just feel like we're family. We probably are family. I got, oh, I got to know what part then you we know, all, her then family we from. They're from very, it's very good, <laughs> very good, you know, connection there of being related. 
What if she's like my like fifth cousin or something? That would be amazing. I'm related to freaking PewDiePie. This but that's okay. Illusion at its finest. I'm related to other famous people. I'm You're a McGraw. Not. So imagine all the McGraws out there. Yeah, I'm related to them. Yeah, I know. So what if PewDiePie said he loved your personality and wanted you to come to his channel? I would. Yeah. I don't know, Melissa. Did you say that? I'd go to England to go and visit PewDiePie. I would believe it. You can't brush your tooth. I'm ready. I'm ready to go where I'm sent. I got my zen in me, man. I got my mojo back. This is the same woman who can't move. And you are so good looking. Pain. Medication. This is the same person. He here's the thing. He knows he looks good. I chose a good place to get the, the dude's hair cut. I know he's feeling good because I gave him a treatment to make him feel good. Okay, and it was the girl treatment of making her feel good after like a bad breakup. He's got a pedicure. He had a manicure. He had his hair did. He had his. He had his. You know, hair removed in certain places. <clears throat> You had him waxed? He's feeling good. He's been massaged. You waxed this man? He's been made love to. He's been fed a lot of meat and a lot of cheese and a lot of veggies. He is a very happy man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've never seen someone resemble Earth. I just want to see how excited I can get you. It didn't work very well. No, I appreciate pewds. You know, I, I actually... I actually have dollars a month for wow. him because I appreciate him so much. Congrats. Somebody's delusions are off the charts, aren't they? No, my delusions aren't off the yes, charts they... because I paid to meet these people. No, you didn't. You didn't. You don't have no. Anything. My delusions are not off the charts. You fucking idiot. At least you didn't forget. I'm good at what I do. I make connections. With who? You got tickets to a meeting. I'm like Trisha Paytas. I like seeking, you know, famous people. I like seeking famous people. He's famous. I like I seeking got him. famous people. I'm best friends with G-Man. What is wrong with you? Everyone knows me. I've been on The Amazing Easy. The Amazing Atheist knows who I am. Nobody cares. I'm YouTube famous. And there's nothing you can do. I've talked to people like Peter Mon and Perez Hilton. I used to be friends with, um, gosh, I've been friends with so many YouTubers. Through the years and I've seen them grow through the years. It's amazing she how many does, YouTubers right, I've seen Ellie? grow and how many I've talked to. She is or you know, I'm just beginning to meet other YouTubers, okay? Next summer, by the way, we're going on tour. Oh we're going around the whole United States and meeting other YouTubers. Oh I would have one of the YouTubers one. I want to meet up with and we gotta we gotta hook up with that is Jackie and um Kevin. Jackie Kite and, um, yeah, her boyfriend Kevin, you know. I don't know who that is. I, you know, I, I'm looking forward to them. You live in, in I also Wonderland. Want to meet Gipsler. I want to meet um, Gretchen and Squirrel. I definitely want Hannah Stout to come up here and we can have some partying going on. And bring your son because our kids are the same age, so it'd be perfect. Yeah, you your kids can tell her kids all about the abuse they endure in your home. Um... I forgot why I paused this, but I had something to say and I forgot. But yeah, she does believe all this is going to happen. This is this is how delusional this bitch is. Uh, where is the lighter? That's not up, your lighter. Up your ass lighter. to the left. But um, it's it's nice. To touch. Keep uh, smoking in the same house as your kid. I I talk quite a lot to Chris Crocker. And if you don't know, and Chris Crocker could be. Oh Pace my god, everyone's gonna be there. It's the Emmys, folks. But the Oscars. May I add, I do talk to Chris Crocker. And if you don't remember who Chris Crocker is, he is the <laughs> Britney Leave Me Alone guy. Or Britney Leave Her Alone. Uh, yeah, I talked to him. It's Leave Britney Alone. Yeah. I like to make connections with people. I like to get to know how, who these people are. No one wants anything. Nothing to do sinister with or creepy or anything like that. I just like to know people. I like to be friends. The I'm cool to hang around with. That sounds fun, Queen. Hannah, you would have so much fun with me here. We could go to so many cool places. I would like show you all around the area. It would be so fun. 
and the boys would absolutely love it like hanging around with another kid be amazing and bring your boyfriend too to have like double dates so inappropriate oh my gosh are you purposely making yourself look sexy yeah that's what he's doing someone needs to hose him down Somebody needs to hose you down. I you just like seeing me on camera. With a power washer. I was your cam girl for quite a while. Is that from Impractical Gosh. Jokers? I didn't even know that. I've been saying we it my whole life. We spent so many months staring at each other through the screen. Up your ass to the left. It must be a New York thing. Yeah, well, my party so was worse than once. <laughs> mm. Sorry, we got a little romantic again. We can't help ourselves. It's it's like I don't know. Yes, please hit the we like on your way your in or your way out, Trisha, guys. I would appreciate with Rev. It. Thank you, Eileen. Does it matter? <laughs> it's old. It's old, witchy way. It's five years <gasps> oh old. Oh my god. <gasps> Uh, this, this is before they lost everything. All the fat girls, where are you at? All the fat girls, where are you at? All the fat girls, where are you at? So, Aries, have you looked up Trisha Paytas yet? He's gonna love her. <laughs> oh my god, she even sounds like Ursula. Rev seems so happy in videos now. I used to watch his videos years ago. He seemed sad back then. He was. And I saw that too. I just wanted to make him happy, and I was his friend, trying to make him happy, but he never would. Okay. I'm glad that he's finally happy. I'm so glad that he's happy finally. You know, and and, and you know what? I didn't. I didn't. I never expected like a year, or two years ago. Ursula from, that I would be in this Ursula type of position from right the now Little Mermaid. and be this happy. I thought I would be, like a year ago, I thought I would be constantly in a perpetual field of sadness. And I need to try to turn this down because I don't want to wreck a copyright. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I love you. Somebody sent me a cash. <laughs> Thank you, Melissa. I think Melissa left, but thank you for thank you for your cash app. Thank you very much. I love you very much. Thank you so so much. You have no idea how much that is helping me right now. <laughs> very very much so. Thank you, love. Wow, those delusions are off the charts. Insane. Poor Rev stuck with a psychopathic bunny boiler who is so delusional. She thinks she's important. Nut job psychopath versus someone who actually has things. Going for them in their life. No wonder you are so delusional and jealous of a woman who is better than you in every way. Carry on, bunny boiler. Carry on. I'm not jealous. What am I jealous of? She's my queen. It's not being jealous of her. Thank you, Melissa. looking at her as Marilyn Monroe. Looking at her. She's my icon. She is my muse. <laughs> Don't be going to that negative zone. Aries, get rid of that person. He's a meanie pants. Ooh, Hannah, I am going to make you mod so you can get rid of the meanie pants too. He just needed a good wife who loved Jesus and God put you together to make each other happy. Yes, he did. Yeah, you're not married. You're not video. married. You're divorced. They do. What a I jerk. Was... He's gone. Some people are just rude. You're calling me delusional? Or what? And yeah, I am important. Not that important. I'm important to myself. That's and I'm important to him. And I'm important to my babies. And I'm important to Hannah. And I'm important to Aries. And they love me. And there's nothing you can do. How sad. And with you in that attitude, you're the one who's jealous. Huh. Tell him, girl. Mm. Oh my god, it's so cringy when she does that. No haters in here. This is for lovers only. Don't break up the vibe. Positive vibes only. You don't want negative vibes here. Negative vibes are for people who don't have a life. Positive vibes are for people who are motivated and want to make themselves better in life. 
And have so you accomplished you that take- yet? your negativity somewhere, go to the drama channels. I'm sure they have no life where they talk about other people all the time. We're talking about you. Me I'm talking life. about my life and what God's doing in it. Nothing. I'm going to boast. Nothing. You're useless. Because it all is to his glory. You are useless. You are a useless person. You are an oxygen thief. That's what you are. And if I want to talk about Trisha Paytas on my channel, I'm going to talk about Trisha Paytas on my channel. Because Trisha Paytas is amazing. Do you ever comb the back of your head? She is amazingly back talented. Here, you know, back here, the hair back here. Have you ever brushed back there? And she's honest. You just brush the front. And she shows her vulnerabilities and her negative sides. She shows her true person. That's what I like about her is that, like that genuine side of her. And then there's this little like playful side of her where she trolls us. God. Which, you know, I kind of started, you know, enjoy because it's like, oh, of course you do that. <laughs> you know, because I love her. She has nice curves, see? Hey, girl, have you ever used color contacts? I just ordered some. No, but in the next couple of weeks, I do need to go to the eye doctor to get my contacts and glasses. So I was thinking during that time getting color contacts because I've always wondered how my eyes would look brown. And then I might get some, like, funky color because, you know, I'm weird that way. Maybe cat eyes. That would be really freaky. Me with cat eyes. Whoa. What would cat eyes look like? Whoa. Whoa. That would be really freaky. But yeah. I haven't used color contacts yet. But actually I used like a like a a sample of it, but it like had like a letter in it. And I put on and it was only one contact, but it was brown and I put it in my eye and I thought my I thought I looked so pretty with brown eyes. So yeah, I want some brown contacts. I ordered brown and purple. Ooh. That's gonna be so pretty. I wonder how my eyes would look green. I don't know. But I definitely want brown. But mm, my lips are like so super chapped. Oh, oh my gosh. I mean, it looks like I have lipstick on it. I don't. This is just chapped lips. Like my whole face is like falling apart from this like cold. Ugh. I'm getting so old. You like you can see the like the forehead wrinkled and like the eye wrinkles. Ugh. Well, do you take care of your skin? Do you do any skincare? Do you bathe? That's that's why people. Well, at least I have some prettiness to me. Look better than you. I approve of purple. That's my favorite color. You don't see a lot of purple contacts out there. You know, my grandma, my grandma Ruth, her eyes were purple. I'm sure she had really pretty eyes. I'm sure they were purple. Oh, there's Maybe. there's Revy. Maybe. Elizabeth Taylor actually hey. had purple eyes. They were pretty. Oh gosh, I love Elizabeth Taylor and Cleopatra. Oh, how she appears in that movie. She like rolls out of the rug. It is so fabulous, and it's like weird. Oh. Oh, that movie was so made by gay guys. It's so fabulous. It's just a rainbow of beauty. I love Cleopatra. <laughs> I do. Hi, handsome. Ew, this is gonna. More lies about grandma. You know? Oh, man. Oh. And you know what? Ew. When I meet Trisha Paytas, I am going to thank her so much. Because she really did help me through my breakup. With oh, this. did she? Because it was like a couple months before Chris did what he did to me. Sean did that to Trisha, so I saw how Trisha reacted and went through bullshit. that. Bullshit! I call bullshit. And then it helped me, I guess, Shut inspire me to keep. Up. Shut your mouth. First of all, she said she her marriage with Chris ended because he cheated with her with her best friend. She was already having sexual conversations with Jason at this time. So what Chris did to you? Nobody did anything to you except thank God he got away from your crazy ass. Now you're Jason's problem. Keep moving. So I thank a lot of these YouTubers for keeping me going because I watch their videos and it's like, I guess, you know, I guess I can go. I'm proud of her, you know, especially this guy's videos. I was falling asleep at night listening to him. Oh, it's adorable. I love that man so much. You love his bank account. You are so cuddly. Ew. Oh my. I need a shower. I don't need their QTC. I don't blame them at all. Have a boy toy. Yes, his name is Jason Nash. 
and he's part of the Vlog Squad. Did that cone just fall out of her mouth? Which is David Dobrik's scene. <laughs> and I think he was second place in last comedian, comedian stand-in. Hi, Shiloh. But yeah, she does have a boy toy. But she has a Patreon if you want to have phone sex with her. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, it's not phone sex. She talks to her people on Patreon. If you pay her, she on the phone. Wow. A private conversation. Ew. You're so cool, Shani. I wish I was as cool as you. There you go, Aries. <coughs> God, I love caviar. Afghani is Shannon approved. It's a nice, mellow, smooth smoke. You'll be someone's boy toy. Shy of me. Hi, it's exquisite. It makes your, your body very relaxed. Oh my God, Sora. I didn't I even know. know that. That is crazy that she said that. What the frig is going on right now? Oh, man. If I had a wine glass, I would... But we don't drink, so no wine. Well, I don't... Hmm. You have to check? You have an alcoholic in the house. Do I have anything? That's glass. No. Darn. I gotta... <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out other like smoke tricks. Mm. Oh. What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> you would have suffocated and died. Oh my god, Warf. Good god, dude. Oh. Thank God you got finally oh. found a tissue. I'll be okay. Praise Jesus for that. <laughs> Ew, um, why? Um, okay, why? You're an idiot. <laughs> why? Oh, I don't understand this right now, dear. Why did I need that? Vision? Are you okay? Oh. 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 I love life. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. I would have loved to know what that <gasps> that question was. <laughs> oh, you was Sofa King one thousand percent. Did you get contact time, Avery? It's yes, terrible. Melissa. He looks like a child next to her. Contact time. Sweet. Well, you just blew smoke in his mouth, so it's not a contact high there, Dopey. Oh, sorry. I got, like, really high there. <laughs> what a messy, Woo! messy movie. Hello. Welcome to your reality. Hi. I'm shedding for Christ. And I'm a medical cannabis patient. No, you're not. You? No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Life is fabulous, may I say. Everything is just amazing. I'll tell you, I honestly believe that God right now is putting heaven onto earth right now. I don't know why, but it's like, it feels like heaven is just raining down. Really? It's so glorious. Mm. <laughs> So you got that. That's so glorious. He got that eviction. Oh my notice. god, I love life. I'm so happy in life now. This is about money. Like today, I was like, I was just bouncy and just not a lot of energy. <gasps> oh. But you're in so much pain. But you're fibro. So we found this one dispensary. It sounds really cool. Dispensary. A dispensary. I notice when I try to make smoke circles, I get high faster. This must be a really good weed brand. 
If this is him, no, this shit is called Lou. caviar for a reason. Lou. Okay. Wait, where the hell is the container? Okay. So basically, what it is is it's bubble hash and dissolent of Afghani weed. And it's super high TAC. It's 5% TAC. And it's a lot of it. And it's so, oh God, I love this stuff. Is it indica? So it's, you know, puts you in the couch and to relax it. You know, I can't have sativas at night. They just keep me up. I gotta have an indica at night. Sativa, start, the, start the day with a sativa and the night with it. In the car. So you smoke weed Boy, all day, which is why you lost your children. The sativa I have makes no me creative and keeps me motivated while the in the car calms me down. I have no problem with parents who smoke marijuana. Not a problem at all. Not even a little bit. However, um I uh I forgot what I was even saying. Um I have no problem with parents that smoke weed. Just do it appropriately. Do it when your kids are not around. It's not cute for your kids to know what weed is at such a young age. You can educate them on it so they know what they're getting themselves into if they're ever offered it at school or something like that. And that's something you're not okay with. I don't want my kids smoking weed young. Or if he, that's something he decides to do when he's older, that's fine. But no, not now. And I just think it's gross. Like, your kids should know what this is. They should know that mom and dad, mom and big and boyfriend are doing drugs in their room and we can't go in there. Like it's so to me, I, I don't know, maybe I'm different. Maybe a different kind of parent, but I would never, if I was a weed smoker, I would never let my oldest, either of my children, but my oldest know. I would not be sharing that information with him. I would not be bragging about it. And I certainly wouldn't be doing it anywhere where he could smell it in his home where he sleeps. But Shani doesn't care about her children at all. And relaxes me and gets my chill on right before bed. It like shuts off that part of my brain that nags me because I have PTSD. So it's like helping with that too. I mean, this, this like plant is improving the lifestyle of my Aww, life thanks, so man. much i know like you guys can see it i'm not like having panic attacks anymore and freak out anymore i mean sometimes i get sad and cry but it's like nothing compared like it used to be everyone gets sad and cry sometimes it's called emotion afghanis know how to make weed they've been doing it for centuries dude i'm telling you they're taking me to mecca Woo! this is some good shit this is embarrassing. But after I'm done with my caviar, this was like pre-rolled, by the way. I had two of these or bought two of them. And they're pre-rolled and each joint is $20. That's how amazing they are. And I wish I could have them on a daily basis, but I can't because they're too expensive. Like if they could have these in a carton and just sell them for like $20, that would make life amazing. That would be my life. But no. And, and you know what? I'm using cannabis in all different ways. Like I'm, I'm, I'm eating, I'm eating hemp seeds, and I'm drinking hemp milk, and I'm eating um, edibles with THC in them. And it's it's like helping my metabolism speed up, and I'm losing weight, and I'm going to the bathroom room on a regular basis again. And it's like, <laughs> it's helping me so much. This is a miracle. It's a miracle. So what's <laughs> the take? Yeah. <laughs> she just told off Worf, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Worf was pissed, but he's not going to hurt her because he knows she's a human. And it would be inappropriate. I love Worf. I need a drink. I'm thirsty. Soon you're going to turn into a cannabis plant. Well, my nails are already green, and so are my toenails. Did Rev pay for that too? No. But he did. Hey, hey, first of all, I'm just utilizing this plant to its full potential to show people what that cannabis plant could do to said person. Let's just say it's a little private scientific experiment of mine. Because life without this plant is a very sad 
and lonely and painful and very unmotivated type of life. Learn English. And I just feel I function better with this plant in my system because it's improved my life tremendously I'm sure. from what my life was three months ago, which was me lying on the couch, barely able to move, constantly in tears. At mommy and daddy's house. Because I was in so much pain. Right. Because you, you couldn't smoke weed there. Not a good situation. So you moved in with Rev. I think weed enema is next on the menu. Yes, please shove a cone up I your mean, ass. Technically, please. you smoke weed and you eat weed. It's like having enema, okay? It, it cleanses you, if you know what I mean. Shove it right up there. You know, <laughs> it keeps your digestive system afloat. Oh, like on 420 when you shat it's yourself? It's full of antioxidants. Did everyone see that? It's an amazing plant. I'm telling you. It's saving my life. I'm losing weight. I'm more <laughs> active. I, I'm happier. I'm motivated. I'm accomplishing things. And I'm more creative. I'm very high. But not high enough. I want to go the distance. And if we smoke weed, we all know what going the distance means. But I don't want a weed out of us. I want something else. Apparently, there's this cream that you insert in the hoo-ha, and it gets your hoo-ha high. Get this shit. I want to find said cream and use it and see how my hoo-ha feels when it's completely high. Okay. That sounds amazing. I want... I want... (laughs) So I looked... Of course, I had to see if this is even a thing. It's a suppository. Um, It's to help um, because marijuana does have a lot of very uh, helpful medicinal purposes for a lot of different reasons. Um, it's a suppository that has THC and CBD in it, and it's to keep your like reproductive your your reproductive system healthy and flowing and everything. It does not get your hoo ha high. Okay, I don't even know how that would be humanly possible. You can't get one body part high once it hits your brain throughout your whole body what's it at your blood system so what frig are you on that you think that you can get your hoo high and you're that dumb that you you don't you can't google just google it it was really easy to find but it's just a suppository that has thc in it for medicinal purposes it does not affect you in any way <laughs> but this idiot doesn't doesn't do any research she just talks out her big ass I wonder if it would make one really high fast. They make alcohol work. I'd like to get my Absorbing knees high directly with you. into the blood. Well, I, I mean, technically, if you think about it, with marijuana, I will, Eileen. It goes I will. directly in your lungs, which goes I'll find into it. your blood. So marijuana does go into your blood. No kidding. The THC needs to go into your blood in order for it to go to your brain in order for you to go high. She's a genius, y'all. So. You could use it as a lubricant, right? I wonder how that feels. It's a suppository, you dumbass! It's not a you lotion! Know, one thing I have learned about myself over the years is I'm the type of human being that just wants to experience new things. And I've always been like that. And when I'm stuck in a rut, and I'm stuck with doing the same thing over and over again, it bores me and I become depressed. So I have to constantly do new things and experience new things in life in order to feel satisfied with life. That's so weird. That's so weird. I can't say when people suck like up. No. Like, so I gross. know. I mean, sex high already feels good, but having the area high? Oh, no. Not your knitting. Oh, what my God. What would take place then? I the, wonder. The knitting what gamer. Planet or- Hold on. I have to pause. The knitting gamer. I have a question for you specifically. Do you make those big soft coat like blankies with the big thick I don't even know what word I'm looking for because I'm exhausted and dumb but they're like those big thick chunky blankets please let me know if you do that because I will buy one from you if you do 
what star system would you be going to? I what star I system? Wanna... If you put THC up your vajaj, and if you have a problem vajaj, with what vajaj. I say, well, you know what? I'm 35 years old. Vajaj. I realize I only have a few years left before all this works, so I might as well take a experience of new things while I still have it. Why not? I'm married. No, you're not. I'm just talking about it. You're divorced. You're not married to anybody. Years, and I'm not a child. And you behave like a child. And some people would be interested in said topic. No one's interested in it. Because I cater to adults. I don't cater to children. I cater to my children, <laughs> but I don't cater to children on this channel. <laughs> you cater to your own children? When? This is an adult channel. When I'm does an that adult, happen? And I do adult things. And G-Man now knows how kinky we are. G-Man knows how kinky we oh, are. Oh my god, I told G-Man how kinky we were. I bet nobody has problems with what you say. Oh please, people have so many problems with what I have to say. Oh, it's so awful. It's like, why do you have so many problems with what I have to say? Because you're an idiot. Why? Because you're an idiot. It's not that bad. I don't yes, think I am. I do. I'm just being honest. And idiotic. And yes. I believe in Jesus, but I'm also human, and I also have one life to live, and I'm going to take advantage of it. Might as well. They are just jealous. I am going to make sure that I am taken care of. Because if I don't take care of myself, how can I possibly take care of anyone else? You don't take care of anybody! So I'm going to take care of myself. As usual. And because I'm taking care of myself now, yes. I take care of Rev really good. I'm back, Shiloh. Obviously. I mean, look at him now. He's amazing looking. Sorry, guys. My, my boys are happy now. In their new home with their new family? Yes, they are. I think you were very jealous because you were having fun in the camp. I mean, she hmm. loves to look at herself. She loves it. I mean, they have fun too. This is her. I mean, no one stops anyone from having fun. Having fun is a choice. Being happy is a choice. It's not like a revelation, a fucking grip, or anything like that. It's a choice. You choose to be happy. You choose not to let the negative affect you. So you choose to stay in positive vibes and like let the negative pass by. Oh, the negative isn't as important as the positive. So we shouldn't be hearing, oh, I'm in so much pain. Jesus, take me now. We shouldn't be hearing that, right? Because you should choose the positive, not the negative, right? <laughs> you literally, uh, it's just word vomit that comes out of Shani's mouth. It's just pure word salad vomit that makes no sense and sounds asinine. Everything's great for you now. Sh shit happens in life so choose the positive shen you're in a lot of pain probably going through withdrawal don't have two two pennies to rub together but you still got your man lost your kids but choose the positive on that and uh yeah how's life now couldn't have happened to a nicer person positivity what's as for my sons they know who their mama is. They watch my videos. Oh. They hear me. That's nice. My kids aren't home. My sons know who I am, and I'm not ashamed for who I am. You should be. Shame I'm on not. you. Shame on you. Shame on you for allowing your children to watch the smut that you put on this channel. Shame on you. My children, even my the teenager, my he's almost 15. I would never allow or want him, nor would he. He does not want to watch his mother's lives. Um, 
but I would never even allow that because I would not want him to hear what I'm saying or bring him into any of this. And he's going to be 15. My five-year-old, same thing. He's a little kid. Your children should not be watching this, especially with all that gross stuff her and Rev were just doing. Ew, ew, ew. Like, it's disgusting. I'm so happy those kids were taken. I, I know that's a terrible thing to say, but I'm really happy. Really, really, really happy. You let your kids watch this. I am myself. And that makes me beautiful. For I value myself. And I love myself. Because Jesus told me to love me. Because he made me a beautiful creature. And because he made me a beautiful creature. You're a creature, all right. My beauty shines even more because I value the fact that he made me beautiful. So. It is what it is. I'm just getting a self-esteem and you guys are just mad. I'm just a getting a self-esteem. You just want to tear me down so you can feel better. But really, you shouldn't be doing that. Because tearing down someone is just going to make you feel lower about yourself. No. Nope. So you need to pick yourself up. I um, realize how fabulous you are. I am fabulous. being positive. Mm -hmm. I think Shannon deletes her videos every <laughs> about once every two years. Pretty much. I'm a phoenix. I like to um, rise from the ashes, per se. She does. I'm definitely not the same person I was two years ago. Or a year ago. Hell, I'm not the same person Hi, I was Melissa. a few months ago. Love you, Melissa. I'm, I'm in a state Have of growth. Day, I'm, in, I'm in a state of discovery. I, I, I'm in the state of like positivity and finding new ways in life. And so is he. So like both of us are in this like mind state where we want to grow together and kind of like fuse our ways together and find each other, I guess you could say, and find new ways of life. The fuck is she talking about? And you know, I'm sure I'm not going to be the same person I am today as I am from a few months from now. You know, things are going to change because, you know, I am that type of person. Definitely getting a message me. Blocks of change. It's just who I am. I would love to talk to you about, you that. know, I'm always changing. I'm always growing. I'm always improving. I'm always just rising from the ashes. You're such a thing. I like it that way because it makes it life interesting. Better than doing the same monotony of life. That stuff gets boring. Real like a real quick. job, like a nine to five job would be too hard for you, too monotonous. I think I'm roughly the same person I was when I was nine, at least eternally. Right? Same here. I'm still that little girl who wants to be famous and go to Paris. I'm not gonna lie. It'll always be something internally in me. Get over it. I'll always be into like fashion and beauty. And seen in. Someone, That's who I was when I was nine. You just had a butterfly <sighs> headband on your head. Fashionista. You know, I, I always imagined myself when I was nine as a princess. And her Prince Charming would come and save her. It finally happened, by the way. Prince Charming did happen. <laughs> he did save the princess. And <laughs> she is now living happily ever after. Oh, Eileen, there was so growth. I did just not become the kind she what meant. I wanted when I was nine. I guess. And now I'm in, going into higher things, you know? Making connections with people. Like who? Uh, rising in my ability of creativity. Uh, you know, finding new ways how to make videos, how to expand on things, how to how to make things look better, I guess. How? Be more precise. Because more your videos all look like this. You sitting on a bed or a couch, the lighting sucks, the audio sucks, and your content sucks. So what creative thing have you done, learned? Shut up, woman. Interesting. I don't know. I think I talked enough about myself. How about you, Aries? How are you? <laughs> exactly, Shade. <laughs> Warts. And he again is like hooked on my hip. Hi. There you go. Those are nice pillows. Right? She's not grunge, she's grouped. <laughs> now you just have to go to Paris. We should go to Paris. She's dead ass. That would be she... so beautiful to go to Paris. 
She is dead jail, ass. Guys. This is a woman, okay, this is a woman who's never had the kind of money that Rev had, right? So in her delusional mind, um, it, it, both of them, it, it, 750 grand is a lot of money. But it's you still have to work. It, it runs out eventually. It's not enough to get you through life. You still have to keep bringing money in because you're ra- you're spending it like crazy because you think it's never going to go away. But in her mind right now, she really thinks going to Paris is an option. She really believes when she says we should do that, she means it. She really thinks that that's what they should do. Go to Paris. She thinks they're that rich. Delusional. Mm. <sighs> Oh, go sit at a little cafe and eat an omelet and visit the Eiffel Tower. I'm falling asleep. Sorry. We so chill right now. No, you're high. I'm probably going to get copyrighted from this video. Oh, well, it's been extreme, dude. If I get copyrighted, I really don't care. That's why, no, you, don't, Kyle. That's why you don't have a channel anymore. How you doing? Me, I'm just chilling before I go to sleep. And watching some TNG. And having this dude on my hip. <laughs> and constantly pat me. That's just hot. Ew. And I'm like really, really high. We're it's gonna watch you. a it's newer just past my video bedtime, after old this man. Thing. This is almost over. Learn how to get past your bedtime. Whoa. Wait, let me look at the... Wow, yeah. It is past your bedtime, Aries. But that's okay. You right? can be a little naughty tonight. I mean, tomorrow is Sunday. Exactly. I, like, no home. Like, I would have bought a house with that money. Ooh. Flat out. Oh. Oh, yes. This is what her children Ooh, yes, want. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sorry. I'm that. so sorry. <laughs> Naughty boy. No, I didn't. I don't watch Drag Show. Hey, Bronwyn. Yes, you do. At this time, you watch <gasps> every video show? Drag Me. <laughs> it might be. Who knows? We'll see where the wind takes us. <laughs> hey, Sophie. Sounds enough. Oh, one minute. I gotta get some, like, joint cones. Oh, Cause you haven't Ew. smoked enough weed. Oh, the hips there. Ah, oh, Rev's mommy complex is coming in. Go lay down. Oh yeah, I was gonna get joint codes. Get off my hip! I said the same Gosh. thing. Gosh, it's like my hips a nipple Stop. or something. It's like my hips are a nipple or something. <laughs> oh my God, it's Troy's mama. I'm still gonna get my codes. Go lay down. God, life is so weird. Ooh, oh, sweet. Oh, sorry. No, I don't want any too. Princess Leia. Do I have any cones in here? No, it's empty. Why is it empty? You smoked it all, pothead. What are your it's kids right doing right now? Where are your children right now? I, I think it's private time for y'all. No, it's not private time for y'all. I don't want it private time right now. I don't blame Rev. Oh my. Aries said I don't blame Rev. Oh, did you hear that, Rev? Uh, some guy said he doesn't blame <laughs> you. I'm sure. He's a lucky man. Ew. Very happy and well taken care of. With those gummy jobs she gives them. <laughs> What man doesn't love a gum job? Really. A good old gum job. I've been on my A game, girl. Yep. That's why she doesn't get her teeth fixed. I've been like, girl, I know what to do. I know how to make this brother feel happier than a clam as a man. I'll just use my gums. You know, if you want to make a man happy, all you have to do is Lose make all your just teeth. Listen, you want to make sure the man is fed, sex stuff. Everything's clean around him. Ew. You look good. And he will be happy. And it's not hard to do because it's nice to look good. So look good for your man. It'll make you feel good about yourself. 
Well, what happened to you? Well, that's the truth. Oh, these are little tiny nugs. What hmm. happened to you? What's this again? Oh, yeah. Grape ape. And it has well, they got the eight percent THC. So it's a very good, uh, you know, amount of THC in a weed. A very high amount in a weed strain, may I say. It is an indica because we're trying to get me to sleep because I have insomnia. Oh, shut up. That is an awful thing to have. I'm really freaking high. When you sleep all day, it's kind of hard to sleep at night. I'm so high. This is like, whoa. Like, everything seems like it's going really slow. And you know what's making things kind of bad for me right now? And why I'm feeling kind of miserable? Because I know right now. I'm at the beginning of a heat flash. Oh, no. I've been having them for three days straight. But I cannot stand heat flashes anymore. Amazing. Don't smother yourself to death on my hip. <laughs> Isn't that cozy? <laughs> Is it? Jason, don't drown in the rolls. You have to be able to breathe. Like, imagine saying... <laughs> You need smothered in my hip. You need a hose. <laughs> Ew, gross. I hate the. Hi, Libra. You can wait. I need to be in my tent. You can wait for your gum job. You can wait. Get my gums ready. But don't worry. I can take care of you. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Ew. I'll take care of you. With my guns. Anyway. Well, I don't. I think I'm going to end this live stream. I'm really tired. And I'm really high. Oh, yeah. Hi, Peaches. And I'm about to go to sleep. Sleep's going to be groovy tonight. Did he? Did and he if you hear me <laughs> for pushing him off me like that. It's that time. Probably. I'm unclean. You can't find him. Just... It's not kosher. No, it's probably disgusting. It stinks. No. He's just going to have to be patient. Probably like a fish market with. He'll be okay. I'll take care of it. With no refrigeration in there, down there. I promise. And. I don't know. Stop, Silas. Enough. No. I'm sorry. I'm like done and off, man. No one's talking. I think everyone's like falling freaking asleep, man. Then get off. It is late. Holy crap. It is so late. It's a reaction. I look like cousin it. <laughs> Anything oh, yeah. to cover your face works for this me. This is a look. This is a look. <gasps> it's such a look. No. <gasps> no, it's not. It's. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> this is a hell of an indica. Wow. Afghani. Wow. Caviar joints. Find them. Get them. Smoke them. Holy crap, boy. <gasps> This is a great good night joint. I'm just saying. The caviar. I'm so tired. You know what I can do? Here. I know what I'm going to do. I really feel it in my eyes. The tiredness. Then go to sleep! I'm going to take my contacts out. Oh, this is gross. Watch this. Hopefully it's not going to be hard. I hope it doesn't. This is going to be gross. If we squeegee, if someone touches their eyeball, just don't look. We're gonna watch that. We're doing it on the US. Sorry, I'm gonna I find really it. don't care. Oh, I really don't care. How about that? I want to get my contacts out. Right? That's so That's true. Okay. Which is over here. Contact case. Look how dirty this is. 
so glad to get these contacts out of my. She eyeballs. wash her hands after she oh stuck them all God, over her face so and touched so Reb's dirty body. Good. Look what she's doing. Lovely. Some people can say, how can you do that? Well, you get used to it. Me neither. Because, you know, this is about aesthetics. Wait until I get my glasses. Ew! Oh, my God. And you may ask, well, Shannon, what happened to your glasses? Oh, God. It's out. I think it's right down on my cheek. Oh, God. God. No lose you. Then do it in the bathroom really? in a in a sterile area yeah, where you're not in your dude. dirty bed with your dirty hands taking your contacts out. Go in there. A pig. But where was I? Oh yeah, what happened to my glasses? Well Nobody let's asked. just say me and Rev kind of got a little um Shut up. Risky and Shut up. They ended up breaking. Really? So or you just sat on them. Which is what really happened. I don't happened. have glasses. Her and Red I'm gonna have to get some more glasses. He, he broke her glasses. I believe that. Next time I'll remember not to have my glasses anywhere near him. You sat on them, Shiny. Be, be honest. You sat We're on fishing them. It. Dirty things. Anyway. You guys have a good night. I'm tired. I'm going to sleep. And um, you guys have a good one. Peace. I'm yes, I, I have. I love you guys. Bye bye. Can mommy oh Sam? Sam mommy. What the hell this is? All right. I want to see if there is um if we can find the poops in her pants video. <laughs> Or what is new? Hello, Hanson. Okay, so what are we looking for? Let's look for graveyard flowers. Let's see what's happening as of recent. Did everybody watch this already? I haven't seen it. Worrying about you guys reviewing it. You know, it's like, I. that's cool. Thank you, Bling and Things 2021. Thank you. No problem, wise guy. We, You guys are great. See, this is the type of stream that I'm not stressed out and going nuts over because I, it's nice. You guys are cool, you know? So here's the situation I got tonight. And I, look, I hate doing streams like this. I'm going to be straight up with you. Okay. E-bag. I hate doing so. I guess I got an excuse to get by, back on Twitch. Dude, I'm <laughs> Sorry. telling you, the reason Shani got banned is insane and stupid. Holy cow. <laughs> okay. We didn't, this is how poor we are. Okay. I got like, this is the last little bit of diluted Snapple. I get this is it looks like almost like watery piss, you know, but I'm drinking it because. Wow. Hey, hey, what's up? Uh, Chiabusa Moon. Chiabu, Chiabusa Moon. Wow, that's, I'm trying. Sorry. Here's a situation we got. We didn't do this. We were going to. Yeah, it is. It was stupid, right? I'm telling you, me and Shani tonight. Or just uh -huh. I love doing this with you guys. We Thank you for coming and you know, hanging out with me. We were my boys are good, Bronwyn. Thank you. There was a stream of a woman, and she was in leggings. Okay, she was in leggings, but her butt—it was like right in the camera. She's one. I guess she's a very popular streamer. She had like two thousand people in her. Hey, trying to figure out how to follow on Kick. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll get back to you guys on that stuff. I'm not sure. Hi, Gucci Trolls. It's good to see you. You're always here, too. So we're on Twitch, and we're setting stuff up, and we see this stream from this chick, and I didn't even look at the name. But but she's laying out on a couch deal, 
and she's in leggings and her she's it's that shot you know they the, the porn chicks do that that shot all the time their butt is like it's like this right you would know Revy Rav you would know yeah, that's my butt she's like this on the camera and it literally looked like she was nude and you could almost see her her female parts man oh now come on but didn't okay. Sh didn't Shani's channel what get happened? banned because she had no underwear on and a dress and stood up and everyone saw her butt crack? Didn't that happen? Uh, or am I delusional? Could be. <laughs> but Shani was literally, you maybe have seen a, a, the upper part of her leg at most. No, we saw crack. And they took her channel for that. That woman that's doing a stream with 2,000 people in it looks like she's nude. Period. And she's turning around, looking at the looking. She's got tattoos on her and shit, and she's looking at the camera talking. I'm not against that at all. I'm for it, as a matter of fact, okay? I'm not against – it's kind of sex work, kind of. I'm pro-sex worker and all that stuff, okay? Obviously I'm not, not saying she should be gone. I'm saying Shani shouldn't be gone. She is, though. She ain't because coming back. Because what happened with her was so minor. It was it was insane. It was so stupid, and and, and the paycheck from that was good, man. Okay, first of all, Shani has been uh, banned from YouTube multiple times, multiple, multiple times. She keeps ban evading and making new videos. The little freaking flashing thing would not have gotten her kicked off if it was her first time she ever did something wrong. She's notorious for making page a new channel after new channel and getting banned again because you can't. That's ban evasion. You can't do it. So your stupid point that this woman did this one thing and looked sexual and like porn and that Shani did not is asinine. It's asinine. You know Shani's done way worse. You both have. You sat there and called people the N-word more times than I could count. You have done vile, vile things. You have gone against TOS so many times over the past three years that I've covered you. It's not even funny. You don't deserve a YouTube channel and neither does Shani. That's what happened. That's why she got booted. Not because it looked like her butt showed. Give me a break. They wouldn't have kicked her whole channel for that. She was getting a good, we were getting a good paycheck from that. Really? But it's these trolls, they come along, they go, oh, here's an opportunity. It was a little butt meat, maybe. Let's go mass flag the channel for nudity. And it works. Shani didn't intentionally try to flag. Exactly. It's just the haters. That's right. Wise guy. You couldn't see anything. She had clothes on. There's no reason for the ban. Thank you. Thank you. That's validating, and I need stuff like that because it's really – I. my mind uh, has been so bad, guys. I'm not going to talk about it. Then get help. I, I talked to my therapist about it. I need a psychiatrist. None of the psychiatrists around here take Medicaid at this point. It's insane. Bullshit. That's bullshit. But thank you for the validation because it really – it makes me so angry to see these girls that – I'm for it. Like, yeah, she was sleeping. That's right. She was sleeping. We were, it was, we, we just did a sleep stream because it is, it can be profitable. People watch that even. There's an audience for everything on streaming, literally. So nobody wants to watch Shani. It's, it's sleep. like she needs to dress like a nun for this, for these, these people. It's really ridiculous. Wise guy is right. That's correct. Like, why? Because she has big boobs. Like nope. they try it. The, I mean, on YouTube, it was like there was that stuff too. It's because like she wears something and then he, she's got some cleavage. It's like, oh, flag it. Well, excuse me. There's tons of people that are streaming that strictly do it for the way they look. Okay. They just sit there. They don't even, they barely talk. They'll, they'll talk to the chat and flirt and stuff like that, but they just, they're just on there because they're hot. And that I'm for that. That's awesome. That's cool. Do it and be a millionaire because most of them probably are. That's incredible. If they don't like Shani, then they shouldn't watch, period. Thank you, Gucci Trolls. That's right. That's what Brett Keen used to always say. Whatever you think about Brett Keen, you know, blessings to Brett Keen. It's crazy. Okay. There's a little X on your browser. Okay. Or in your app. Do you know how to close your app when you're watching a video? If you don't like someone, Either back out of the video, close the app, and find somebody you like. Wow, that's amazing, isn't it? There's plenty of people out there to watch lots. 
So I ranted on that. I'll, I'll leave that at that. But here's the situation I got. And, and I, this has been a fun stream so far, but this is where it comes where I don't like it. Shani's sick. And she's, she's got like a fever. Absolutely a fever. So I'm trying to get her some medicine. So if you guys could can help out in any way, um, my, I could put my PayPal stuff in here. I'll do the, I don't want to move the phone. Our PayPals are in the, the PayPal, the Venmo, and the Cash App is in there. So anything that you guys could give, it doesn't matter if it's a buck or, or 50 cents, whatever you can help us out with, because I, I'd like to get her some like Tylenol PM and, and a few other things to, to calm her down. Oh, you know shut what I mean? up. So you want to get like, to eight get is what you want to get. That's possible. Just, and I'm going to be walking the Quins, which, you know. It's around. It's going around. Just get get over being real sick. You just got over being real sick, Gucci trolls. Yeah. Uh, they're talking about some kind of tridemic. What the hell is a tridemic? So it's like three three different strains of of COVID or something. It's like split. Like, and now we're gonna have three different strains of a uh, whatever. I don't know about this stuff, guys. I really don't. If it's if it's for real, real, then it's like the seal of revelations opened or something. Like they they release some bad stuff. If it's real. I don't know. I got COVID. I'm pretty sure I got it. Oh, you don't back even... in 2019, 20, yeah, 2020, whatever. Oh, uh, you two scammers told us all for you me. Got it was like just a basic flu. Um, my smell is messed up and my taste is messed up. Definitely. Good. The one needs to but see any food. The overall consequences, I don't, I didn't see it, but I know a lot of people have suffered and have absolutely died of, of this stuff. So I'm not anti-mask. I'm not like that. You know, uh, do I believe that it infringes on your constitutional rights to force a person to wear a mask? Yes, I do. But here's the thing. Here's the thing with exactly. the mask. Exactly. You have to put other people's interests. You have to you have to not only have your own interests, but other people's interests as well. And the fact of the matter is, is that masks can be effective in preventing disease. It's just that simple. So the way I handled it, okay, there were a few times I didn't feel like wearing a mask somewhere. And I took Channy to PT one time down at the rehab place that we got here. That's not too far from where we're at now. And they're like, we want to take your temperature. We want to, we, you got to wear your mask. We want to take your temperature. I, I was like, look, I don't want to consent to anything medical. Why? I'm not here. I, I'm, I'm here with my wife. I, but They still have, have to, to check to see if it. Oh my God, okay. you can't be this no, dumb. And here's the reason why, because. You cannot wear a mask in your house all the time. You know why? Because it's your property. It's your house. It's where you're living. If you go to a medical facility or a government building or anything like this, right, out of your not property, you don't own it. You're not renting it. You're not. No, you're just there. You have to go by the policies and rules of the places that you enter. Oh, this like is where the, the anti-mask people are wrong in being like activists and going out into a building without a mask. You have to abide by the rules of the building. And if they're telling you you need to wear a mask, guess what? They're going to toss you out and they can because it's private property and you're trespassing if you're not wearing a mask. It's that simple. OK, I am libertarian minded. Absolutely. Constitutionalist. I love my mask. Then the patients can't see the faces I'm making when they act like jerks that, Hey, see, that's mature. There's even a positive. You could make something positive out of it like that. Maybe you should be in the medical field. Then, whoever said that. Mask. I had a really cool, it was this Superman thing that like, I think it was a head scarf, but I put it over my neck and I flip my hair out and then I'd pull it up like that for a mask over my nose and mouth. I look like it. And they put the cowboy hat on. It looked like Arthur Morgan. Like it was, it looked cool. Like make a fashion statement, make it fun. It sucks that you have to do it, but you do, you know, it's just part of it. But let me do this really quick. Uh, I didn't want to move the phone because it's perfect. 
but let me do this. I'm going to put all of the links in here, my stuff in here. No yeah, one's PayPal. going to donate to you. Oh, I, I hate asking for money. No, you don't. You ask you, you every don't day. Because I only gave money. I never asked anybody for nothing because I didn't need it. I had it. Do you it's understand what I mean? Brat. I have to wear one of them every day at work because I work with the elderly. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's the way it's, I'm for I'm for protecting people. Uh, period. And 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 it does have an it has an effect. You know, it does help Hades. not spread disease. And and we've known this since you know they were using masks back in the dark ages when they, okay, the black plague, they were covering their faces like this. Okay. It's just true. It's not a matter of liberty and freedom. It's a matter of caring for people and, not, and, and just loving people and not getting them sick. Okay. Even if you're not ill and I get, I, oh, I'm not sick. I don't need a mask. Well, you might be brewing COVID. And you don't got symptoms yet. And boom, you get them all of a sudden. And guess what? When you didn't have your mask on in the place being an asshole, you spread it to some old person that could die. I work in uh, nephrology, dialysis. I wear one always. Yeah, absolutely. And cancer patients, of course. The people that have compromised immune systems. You need to just care for people. Oh, like how shiny I can. And don't, don't make it about freedom and conspiracy theory and the new world order don't do that it's just about keeping people safe I'm waiting for comments. it is i know i'm probably sounding like a democrat but i've been feeling like a democrat lately i'm going to be honest with you the republican party is dead the republican party is not sane in any sense of the world anymore Neither are in, you. in any sense of the word rev to get uh, help you need to pin where folks can help. Uh, I'm tight on cash, but for others. Yeah, I understand why this guy, yeah, I'll pin it. Um, it's just, I'm sorry. In our description on the Instagram, it's just all of our in information for donating. So you got it right there. But I'm, I, I do want to make a comment with it. I'm trying to do this fast. I'm sorry. All right, get back to Shani. Shani can't be left alone for too long. I, like I said, I just hate doing this, but when I'm in need, I'm in need and, and I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I have stuff that I'm, on on my end that I'm really trying to make things work. So it's just, there's really nice people out there and they do help. A lot of the times people do help. And we love you guys for that because it's the only reason we can really survive. I would have had some kind of money. psychotic break That's why a you long time it. ago if it wasn't it, for people like you money. that give, um, I would really be screwed. So this is remain. This is for Shani because she's really sick, guys. Oh, she's she's flushed, oh. and and she can't. She can barely. She can barely keep her head up right now. Oh, she can't um, keep her head up. Right, I got one more. I got to put in here. Oh, she can't ASMR keep gaming. Up. AS. Get her some help. Excuse me. ASMR gaming. Okay, there we go. That's all of our things, and I'm gonna pin that. Let me know if that, that works out for you. Pin, pinned. There we go. Okay. So that's all of our information there. Please let this go. That's perfect. I want to get a case. I want to get a phone case with a stand. Bit, but for now, I'm using a spick and span box from probably the 1970s. <laughs> I'm in my grandma's house, and there's there's some there's some old stuff around here, man. It's an old spick and span thing. Here, I'll show you, man. It's like this is old, man. This is old spick and span. Just Holy shut crap. Up, Jason. It's so From Faye's Drugstore here in here in PA. That's like, that's old, guys. Okay? But that's what I'm using as my stand right now, is the spick and span box. But it's perfect. That's perfect. It's a perfect angle. You get the nice background. You got, you can see stuff. So anyway, I'm sorry. Can you guys believe what's going on with Trump? I mean, I, I, this, I've been alive now 39 years, okay? I've paid attention to politics 
Oh my God. Is it a powder form? The spit? Yeah. Powder spick and span. Yep. Powder. I'm feeling There's some triggered. in there too. I, th I think my triggered. uncle was using it to, to clean some stuff in the kitchen here. That is a racial slur, sir. Powder form. Do they not make the powder form anymore? Who cares? They probably don't because it's probably used for something. Other, right? like, like, I don't know, cooking meth or something. Okay, they're cooking meth with spick and span. Okay. What a world. Yeah, it's, it's old. It's old. I wish I could find an, a date on the box. I probably can. Oh, my God. It's the, the date's probably somewhere on the box that, like, the year it came out. But I, I don't know. It would be considered an antique. I'm serious. It's probably from the 70s. It's, that's nuts. That's crazy. Um, they don't sell it anymore in the powder? Okay. Yeah, it's probably used for something bad. You See, know, you these people the take it. I can't believe what people ingest for drugs these days, man. Like, they, they cook products in their basement and, and like, they, they throw some, I don't know, you know, Tylenol PM pills and melt it in there and, and like liquid Tylenol PM and chemicals. And then they sniff it and smoke it and, and shoot it. Didn't what he say he doing? was going to get Tylenol PM what? for Jenny? Please <laughs> get help. If you're taking stuff like that, just find some weed or something. Get, get, just get, a, find weed. Find don't, don't inject yourself with chemicals and holy crap, like crocodile, Right. You Crocodile inject that stuff and it eats drugs. your flesh away. It literally like, does. What? Please, Turns you don't into do that to yourself. Don't. That's like that's self destruct. Exactly. You're, you're putting yourself on self destruct ingesting that stuff. You know what I mean? It's not good. But Trump, I can't believe this, guys. You have forty six percent of the country still says that they would vote for Trump. This is crazy. <laughs> And the, the really crazy part of it is, is that we could, it, it's possible that we could have a guy elected president that, that's going to be in jail. What? Yeah, it's possible. If you talk to the legal ex experts, because me and Shani watch, uh, there's a channel called Midas Touch, and uh, they're definitely leftist. They're leftist. Uh, channel on YouTube, Midas Touch. I endorse them, though. I do. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Ben Mysalis. I, I like him a lot. Nobody cares. I think he's a great presenter. Uh, I, I think his intentions are very good for everything. But they do pump up the Democrats and stuff like that. They do. And and I've been watching the Young Turks also. I've sweat. I've... You know who I was. Uh, every chance that I would get to say that I love Alex Jones and I think he's a hero. I was a big fan of InfoWars, huge fan. And, and I, I was that close to having him. If I called them back, I would have had a job. I would have been Owen Schroyer. I was pretty much hired. Oh, um, really? I, I, I just didn't call them back. I didn't call Alex back. Why? Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I, I probably had tons of money now you if I went for that. I, and I, also, they wanted me writing books like all the prophecy people. In it. His oh name my is what? God, the delusion. Ben, my salads? No, Ben, like Benjamin, Ben, my salads. And his, I don't know, M E I S A L A S, something like that. He's Jewish. What that has to do with anything? Pretty sure he's Jewish. Who cares? Um, he runs this with his brothers, and they do podcasts. And uh, they have Michael Cohen on there, who is the former lawyer for Donald Trump that went to jail. He went to physical jail. Like you? Uh, Michael Cohen, who's cool. He's really funny. He curses like crazy. And, and he, he, had a, he has that real thick New York accent, you know, that Donnie, diaper diaper Donnie. Donnie in his diaper is whining. He is that talks how like that. Speak? He's great. He's funny. Is He's that awesome how us New Yorkers <laughs> talk? So it's, but it's a leftist channel, and you know, I'm like conservative. I'm, I'm right. I'm not left. But I'm going to tell you this. I don't even know what the hell the Republican Party is. If you, he, oh my God, Trump, 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 chose Marjorie Taylor Greene for his vice president. What the fuck is going on right now? <laughs> What? 
Trump chose Marjorie Taylor Greene to be his vice president. What? What? Huh? This woman believes in space lasers that it's possible to change elections. Your she wife believes, satellites believes the moon votes. is a light source and doesn't exist and is a hologram. So let's not With no that. proof, I'd be willing to say, okay, maybe there are Russian Chinese satellites that could screw with our elections. There's zero proof of that. None. I don't know, Eileen. You can't just uh, I could say I could say, hey, they found a hamburger on Mars. That means there's life on Mars. That's it. It's true. Oh, my God. There's life on Mars. There's a hamburger. Are you kidding me? This is where the conspiracy stuff goes in. Wet. Just ridiculous. It's stupid. Okay. If you're going to try and tell me that there's satellites changing votes during our elections, you need mental help. There's absolutely no proof of that. None. Okay. Stop that shit. But he... He chose this woman for his vice president. That that really shows you where his mind is, man. Trump. It's funny I supported him 100 percent enthusiastically yeah. in 2016, but it's like he's a different person now. Way way after 20. It's like he's a completely different person, and it's his narcissism and ego. He cannot take the fact that he didn't act right on Jan 6. He didn't. He screwed up royally on January 6. If, if you wanted peace, a peaceful transition of power, which he would never say that he wanted because he didn't, he would say, well, yeah, there'll be a transfer of power back to the administration. That is me. You remember that at the press conference? It's ridiculous. Um, I don't know who you are. Sorry, you can't come on with me. I don't know. If I saw a teddy bear pop in requesting to come on, I would definitely let him on. But I, I don't know who you are. Sorry. Um, the Republican Party is absolutely ridiculous. And I am a Republican. The last time I got my ID. <coughs> sorry. Ew, I had a uh, who does that? Steak. It was so good. Oh, my God. It's so good. This convenient mart that, that's uh, I, I walk to it every day. I got no ride. I'm walking everywhere. God bless the people down there because we have no EBT card, no money, nothing. And they, I go at seven o'clock every night and they give me food. Okay. They give me their extra food that they didn't sell because it's going to be stale and they just give it to me. There. So why? Why is there no EBT anymore? Why isn't the government helping you at all if you're so indigent and you're so broke and down on your luck and can't get a job anywhere and you're doing all these things to try? Why are you not getting EBT? Because you, you were before the kids were taken. And to my knowledge, then it was lowered because the kids were taken. But now EBT has gone altogether. So the convenience store gives you their old food from from that day. You don't see a problem with this. You're going to come on here and bitch about fucking <laughs> Trump. But yet you are an able-bodied human being who does nothing but complain and e-beg. I, I just, it blows my mind, the entitlement of these people. I would never, ever come on here and ask you guys to send me money every day. I mean, if I was in a really bad situation, I would go to my friends. But these people don't have friends, so it doesn't work out for them. But it's just like, Jesus, it's so embarrassing. There's no shame anymore. You will ask every day for money. It's really bad. Shani's really sick. No, you're just two bums. Bum A and bum B. And coming on here and talking about politics is really a bad idea. Talking about politics and religion, especially with strangers, is just not a good idea. Just it It's going to make you get let more people to dislike you, if that's even You're humanly possible. There. Sorry, I had to get that out. I never lived like this in my life, guys. I, I, was a, I was a Nepo type kid. You know, I've never experienced this, but I was supposed to. I'm a Christian. Jesus didn't have anywhere to lay, lay his head. I lost everything because God did that. Okay. I didn't even put it on the trolls. Okay. God did it because I was meant to experience wanting 
and not being able to get what you want and need whenever you want to, because that's the world I was in. I, 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 aside from buying things that are a million dollars, okay, I didn't have that much money. But I was able, if, if it was a new electronic device, yeah, I wanted it. I got it. No problem. That's right. That's how I lived because I was blessed with a mom that took care of her money and then she passed. What happened to the EBT card? We're just out of it. There's no more money left on it. Why? Every month we get about to the 15th. That's a problem, bro. No Dude, if you're getting EBT. It's inflation. Which is pathetic that you are even getting EBT because that just infuriates me alone that you two are getting EBT because you, you, there's no reason for you to. But by the 15th, you're out and you don't see any issue, like any issue with that. You know how much you get every month, right? So you don't budget it out, get stuff that's on sale, get cheap stuff you can make meals out of. Like, how are you out of your EBT card by the 15th? Because Shani is a land whale. That's why. Everything is so expensive. A, a package of Reese's Pieces. Why are you buying is Reese's three dollars? Are you kidding me? You but, get what? Yeah. It's but, not that they didn't. But instead of buying Reese's Pieces, why, you know, you could probably get about four or five boxes of pasta for that. That's cheap. You could do a million things with pasta. I'm Italian. Shani, who claims her Italianness, I'm actually Italian. You, we can make we can make a meal out of anything because you know Italy was broke for a while, so pasta's cheap. They don't do that. They don't go and go to the grocery store and get the cheapest things they can so they can you know get through the month. They're spending three dollars on a Reese's pieces. That's how out of touch with reality like you've lost close to a million dollars you are now squatting at the uncle's house and you're going and buying Reese's pieces with your EBT card and you don't see the problem it's because the prices are high yes the prices of everything are high smarten up make a budget and make it last instead of coming on here two weeks into your EBT and begging because it's so pathetic and people don't feel bad for you anymore i never felt bad for you not a second they didn't take them life. away pray oh my god praise god they didn't take them away they should mainly because they know i'm a, they have they they put new restrictions on uh ebt cards like work requirements and stuff and i'm yeah. exempt from that because we're both mentally ill oh Me my and god that's are. not true and and like i said i got stuff going on in my background that i'm working on Oh, mm. I know. I'm off this weekend. It's going to be rough. Like yeah. kicking a child in the head and the face? Yeah, that's going to come up on your record. Inflation. Yep. Everything is so expensive, it's insane. So we get to the 15th of the month, and then we're out of money. That's pathetic. That's what I'm saying. Anything you can do, guys, are things are I, I pinned it down there uh, or up there, wherever you would see it on uh, the live. Uh, our PayPal, our Venmo, and our Cash App is there. And God bless you. God bless you. Whoever can help, God bless you and thank you. Because Shani's in there right now. She's resting. She's trying to I, Mike Matai on. What Mike else did she do? F099. F0 was one of my favorite games on Super NES. I, I, it may have been a launch title with SNES. I think it was close to launch. I'm not positive, but I think it was close to launch. Fi uh, final fight. That was a launch title. Oh my God. Now I went. See, I got my SNES in there. Gee, praise God. Yo, I lost everything, man. But at least I got my SNES in there with an EverDrive. I have my SNES with an EverDrive, which is every SNES game ever made. Okay. I got that. All I need is a CRT TV. All I need is a, and a small one. I just take a small CRT TV that has the RCA hookups, which is the red, the white and the yellow, red, white, yellow cable, right? That's SNES. I can play some SNES oh, games. Oh, really and quick. Calm down. I want to, I know you guys have all seen um, Shani getting arrested uh, the first time when she hit Rev with the, with the sex whip. But um, there was another video uh, that was going around and a lot of, People that cover Shani covered it, but I didn't. If you guys want me to cover it um, this evening, I happily will because I've been dying to cover it. 
her getting arrested is it's great. It's just it's so it just it just hits right. That's what should happen. But if you guys want me to go over that tonight, I happily will because I've been dying to go over it. I know that Black Eye TV went over it, probably a couple of other channels. I haven't even watched the whole thing yet. It, but what I've seen is fabulous because uh, at the time, Jason and Shannon were not supposed to be together because of wh whatever was going on at that time. Um, they had like a restraining order on each other where they couldn't be together. And uh, they were, they didn't listen to that. And I don't remember exactly why the cops were called, but the cops were called and she ends up getting pulled out of the house. Cause they're like, wait a minute, there's an RO between you two. And she's like, what are you doing? I'm scared of you guys. <laughs> it's great. It's great. And if you guys want me to watch, if you want to watch it with me later, I will happily do so. I have to get off here in a little bit because I have to go get my baby from the bus stop. But um, I really want to, I really want to do that video because I've been waiting and dying to show you guys. Because that is therapeutic. It is. Pop on final fight, beat it. Oh, I feel better. Final fight two and three is on there. All of them are on there. I love it. It's so good. I just need a CRT TV, a small one. I don't want a Trinitron. Those, I love that TV, a Sony Trinitron. It's amazing, beautiful CRT TV. Yes, Warren, that one. 170 pounds. That's what it it's was. Like they weigh more yes. than me. Uh, took my kids for their eye exam today, and it's supposed to be BOGO. Buy one, get one free. But since their insurance covered their glasses, a free pair wasn't allowed. What the? Oh, come on. That. Hmm. I can see why, but still, they should give, they should. Sure. No. I call BS. So you should get an extra pair. So I, I'm doing the next thing because I got a little bit of. That's what it was. Okay. So, yes. So, Rev. <laughs> Rev hit a vehicle and left the scene of the crime. Um, yes, that happened. Uh, they came to serve him his summons because they he did he did a hit and run. When they came to deliver that, um, that that's when they it clicked that Shani was not and him were not supposed to be in the same place at the same time, and she gets arrested and it is fantastic. Yes, thank you, Soren. I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah, I think I'll do I'll do a panel later when everybody's home because everyone's probably working right now. Or, you know, doing doing adult stuff. But I've been walking a lot because I have to. <laughs> and I think that's been helping my indigestion. Yeah, it is BS. I agree with you. It is BS. Just because it's, it's covered, um, just because it's covered by insurance doesn't mean that you should uh, not get, uh, you know, you should get the second pair. It's the deal, right? Just because you didn't have to pay your own, they're still getting paid from the insurance guy. Exactly. Why is that different than you had given them your, your debit card and charging it to your debit card with, with your cash? You get the BOGO. Why didn't you get the BOGO? Because it's just insurance. Yeah, I agree. That's that's bullshit. I totally agree with you. Uh, I'm all over the place here, but it's crazy. That we have, we have a party that's putting a guy. We have a guy that that's he has ninety one charges in four different cases. Ninety one different charges, all of which have like for each count, at least a five year prison sentence. Oh God! How many? Now I'm. This is. This goes to like if a trumper. I'd like. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. If a if somebody that supports Donald Trump is in here and would like to join with me and we'll talk about it, please do. I will add you. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I could do that though. I might. Uh, yeah, I, maybe I shouldn't do that because I don't know what you'll show. If I bring you on here, you just shoot your computer with porn on it. I know how this works. It's not my first rodeo. Never mind. I don't need you. To, I know your stances because I was a Trumper. Okay. 
There is no logical world that exists in any universe if there's a multiverse where it makes sense for the Republican Party to put a guy that has four different indictments and 91 different charges on his head and put and, and elevate him and put him on the pedestal of this is who we're going to nominate to be the choice for president for the Republican Party. Oh, this is insane. Astro! And Donald Trump is not eligible to run for president at all because of the 14th Amendment, Section 3, which states implicitly that if you had anything to do with an insurrection, you may not hold office ever, anywhere, state or federal. You're done. You can't. Okay? He's fraudulently running. I know. To try and feel like he's getting out of all of this crap that's over his head. You're not. He's trying to try this case in the public with his Truth Social account. That's not lawful. He's using evidence, and I'm sure he's going to do that. I, I don't think he's done this yet. Okay. But he is going to use discovery evidence against people, which is against the law. He likes, he, he's lawless. <laughs> He is an absolutely lawless individual. Oh, it's bad, Astro. I can smell it from I here. wanted to believe that all of this stuff about him was not true because I voted for him in 2016. I liked how tough he was about New World Order, that he doesn't like it. He doesn't like globalism. No, he's a racist nationalist. You're a racist. That's not good You're either. You're a fucking racist. Okay. You okay. Got, why can't we just agree... To not be all of us, that this is freaking America, where it's always been the case that we welcomed everybody. It didn't matter who, what country or color you are. It's about if you love freedom. If you love freedom, you are welcome here. Period. Now, the border, it's a mess. Kids in cages, all this crazy stuff. It's horrible. And, and should we throw everybody out that came here illegally? Come on. That's ridiculous and it's not going to happen. So we should welcome people to this country. It doesn't matter what color, color, creed, religion, whatever you are. And he want Trump wants to ban communists from coming in the country. How the hell are you going to do that, Donald? I'm sure he's watching. If you believe in communist ideology, that's a personal belief that's covered under the First Amendment. We happen to not be a communist country, which which you may be sad about not being communist or you might be happy we're not communist. That doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is we're a capitalist country and that's what you're living in. OK, well, crony capitalist. Rigged capitalism, capitalism for the billionaires. That's the capitalism we're living in. For the in. rich people, Look right? Look at the UAW workers, okay? You mean to tell me that Ford, how much How much money did Ford make last year net worth? How much did they add to their net worth? And you're telling me that you can't pay these workers 40% more over four years? That's what they want. They want 40% more pay. And you're telling us that you can go out and get a job and make some money? To feed yourself and your very, very obese girlfriend? Is that what you were saying? Because we don't really care about any of this nonsense. You're just here to e-bag and fill time. So you're not just e-bagging. That's the only reason you're talking about this. And I think it's extremely inappropriate. And um, if it's so easy, then why don't you go out and get a job and not have to worry about these things? Real simple. You're too lazy. Lazy and pathetic. A over a four-year period. You can't do that? Then I'll tell you what. If you can't do that for GM, all you fucking pieces of shit corporations, if you can't do that, we should live in a communist society. Because if we have capitalism, it's going to bring great money and it's going to bring great growth. Absolutely fantastic. Let's do that. But you must take care of your people. Our country has so much fucking wealth, there should not be a single, not one homeless person.
or somebody that can't put food in their mouth. And I don't give a shit if they have a job. Okay. I'm talking about yourself Some now. People are not capable of work. They're just not for really? whatever reason. No, okay. no. You're looking at one ear. Bullshit. I mean, call this if that it was is. the case, if that was the case, yes, there are people in this country that cannot work. Those people are considered disabled. Therefore, they get disability, so they get money every month because they are not able to go out and work. You don't get disability, and the whale doesn't get disability. So... That tells me the government says both of you are very capable of working. What no one's asking you to go lay concrete out or get just do anything, bring in some income somehow. But your point is going in your direction now because things have changed for you. If it's so easy, then go get a job and stop bitching about it, Rev. Such a such a hypocrite. Things were real different when you had money, though, right? Pathetic. I think it is. It's it's streaming is a new career, you know. No, it's not. I don't consider this and I'm a capable career. Of this and I want to do it. And I want to try and make money, you know. Oh. I have to. In in a perfect world, we'd have no money. You wouldn't have to worry about uh, uh, rent. And but all we have shit. money, you so have shut to worry up about that. We just be living our lives. We send too much money to other countries when we should be taking care of our own. Yes, Gucci trolls. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How much money have we sent to Ukraine? God. I'm getting a little worked up. I'm sorry. Slow down. Why the hell are we giving any money to Ukraine? Why? Oh, it's Russian expansion. It's like World War II. We had, who the hell is saying this? Democrats are saying that. It's insane, isn't it? I thought Republicans were the party of war. Weren't they? Wasn't it the Republic? But they're they're starting to support they're supporting it pretty much. I, well, the, the rhino Republicans love war, man. Neocons. Oh, more money and blood. Definitely uh, America with three K's in it. America, America with a C. Three Ks. The people who come here get free insurance, money to start a business, et cetera, and we get nothing. Isn't that crazy? That ain't right. That's something that shouldn't be. No, you know it shouldn't be you at begging I, I people. I'm all for helping people, man. No, you're not. No, you're not. But, but, never but let's anyone. start with the citizenry, okay? I want everybody helped. But the citizenry should get the help first. That's oh, the absolute fact. Meaning you. Meaning you. Okay. And then we take care of the immigrants that come in here. But come legally. Yeah. The green card. Yeah. I'm for legal immigration. The border crossing stuff, you get yourself killed, guys. The, but, but in a lot of cases, they're fleeing from horrible things. You know, they're fleeing from really bad shit. So there's, there needs to be a level of compassion on that, too. It's like, I don't want an open border. Hell no. I'm for border security. Absolutely. I'm conservative on that. I, you, you must have borders to be a country. You're not a country if you don't have borders. Okay? You need Thanks that. For that. You do. And, and we need security at the border. I'm all for that. Absolutely. If you want to build a wall, build a wall. That's for the. I think that's something that we should vote on in the country. And and if if it's you know seventy percent of the people say let's build a wall, build a wall. But I mean the wall's a joke. That that whole concept of it was a joke. They showed some pictures of fencing and stuff. What, what's his name? Brian Brian Setzer or Seltzer or whatever the, the press secretary for Trump. They had pictures of the wall. It was like a little fence. People were making holes in the first day and coming through. It's a joke. Okay. But but I'm for border security. Absolutely. If you don't have borders, you don't got a country. So uh, it's a mess. Your life is a mess. The American political landscape right now is the most... It's insane. I've never seen anything like this in my life, definitely. It's the craziest time in American politics ever. It's insane. 
I'm really hoping though, guys, because the main reason I did do the stream was that that I need to raise some money to get some medicine for Shani. So I'm really hoping somebody out there, you know, can find it. And, and if you got it, I'm not asking you if you don't got it. Um, that's and don't feel bad if you don't. Oh, it. you would take it. You would I'm take someone's position. last five dollars if you could. Nobody you piece nothing because I got nothing. OK, I'm asking for Shani because she is ill. She's sick and she needs some medicine. And, and she I, and should go to the hospital. Later. So I, I really would appreciate it if you could help me out. It's pinned up there. Uh, the My PayPal, the Venmo, our PayPal Venmo and Cash App is, is right up there. So anybody, I love you guys. You know, the people that this is a good stream. You got a couple people in here that are really good chatters. And I appreciate you. Um, but she's she's sick, guys. She's hot. She's warm. oh, isn't she always? Is she ever well? Is she ever pray ever her, feeling okay? Pray for her to feel better. That's that's what she needs. And, and um, we're gonna come. I I hope if Shani feels good enough to do it, and maybe I'll just do it myself. Um, we're gonna start doing videos on the crime and gaming channels. And uh, crime and well. gaming. I love you guys. Um, pray for me. Pray for Shani. Pray for the country. I, I don't know where this goes with politics, man. We're going to have one party. Because No, we're not. The party is a joke. That's not how this works. The leadership is a joke. Mm. Absolute joke. So you got one party. Do you know what happens in a country... When it's led by a single party in their political system? Oh, yeah. You are going to get one of the worst despotic leaders you've ever seen in this country the next time. When this happens and the, and the Republican Party is gone and there's no alternative... I don't even want to talk about the type of stuff that happens in a country like that, okay? But I think America's going to find out. Because we couldn't come up with anything better than, oh my God. And I look, I even like Joe Biden. I'm going to straight up say it. I like him basically. Do I oh support his political stances on a lot of things? King of no. cups. Of course not. But am I for taking care of people? Am I for a living wage if you work? Yeah. I'm for that. And I don't know how Republicans could be against that, but they are in a way. If you're fighting unions so bad that are trying to get better wages for workers, that tells me that you don't like the worker that much. Okay? And that's coming from a Republican. I am a Republican. OK. I don't know why we're anti-unions. I understand that unions can cause problems. Of course they can. I understand. Who is he even discussing this? And with? when like, those times are there, you take care of the problem, right? Nonsense. The corruption or whatever's going on. But people need a living wage. People are forced to work three, four, five jobs. What the hell is going on in the country? You can't even fathom so having one job, guys, let alone two or what three. What the hell the answer is? I don't. Pray for the country. Jesus Christ is Lord. I love you guys. And please, if you can, my pay our PayPal is at Shanny Needs Love. No, our Venmo not happening. Not happening here, dirtbag. <laughs> not on my channel. That will never, ever, ever, ever happen. So, um, I hate leaving all 81 of you in here because I love chatting with you. I have to go get my baby off the bus stop, but I really want to go over the, um, do you guys want, let me know if you want to do the, uh, <laughs> the arrest video tonight. Cause I'm down to do it. If you guys want to watch it, um, I love you too. I love all of you. Thank you so much. Are you gonna be? <laughs> you were just about to pay them, Astro. Um, so if you guys want me to do that, let me know, and I will make time for it and set it all up. And 
we can have a good old laugh because it is it's great because the look on Shani's face when she realizes that she's fucked and she, those cops are going to be taking her away it's like it's just it just hits good it's just one of those things where you're like mm -hmm, that's what happens to bad people because they weren't there for her they were there for him and him hitting a car and uh then driving away which he totally admits to. I don't know how that wasn't a like arrestable crime, but um, you you're very welcome. Yes, I will do tonight. If you guys want me to do tonight, I will happily do tonight, and uh, we'll do we'll do some more. I'll set it all up. And um, Astro, I'll probably talk to you in a little bit. And what time is it? Yeah, I have to go. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me on my random stream. And um, I hope you all can make it tonight because that will be fun. I actually have somebody I, I want to ask to come on with me, which might be interesting. We'll see. But I love you guys, and I will talk to you guys uh, this evening. I'll leave everything set up so I don't fall asleep on you and I actually go live. But thank you guys for coming. I love you. And thank you for everybody that donated. I love you. We'll go straight to my charity. And you guys are amazing. So thank you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye, lovies. Bye, my lovies. Love you all. Now I have to go take care of two children. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. My sanity should be, should still be there by this evening. Should be. I'm just kidding. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Yes, please hit the like on the way in or the way out. Love you guys. Bye.